just remind everyone where we are and what's at stake. Our group spent the fair amount of <sighs> far too long shopping and acquiring new items as well as new abilities. <clears throat> they find themselves still in the midst of the black market waterland at 10 o'clock in the morning as they approach the fateful day. They know that there is a series of events that will happen at some point in the afternoon, and they know that Queen is not all that she seems. Barring that, our adventurers approach the day. All right, let's go burn that place down. Save some slaves. Let's all right, go over the plan one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe red worm, but that's choice number two. Yeah, but it's going to be a really quick choice number two, let's be honest here. <laughs> Before we know, um, we'll be on choice seven. So the plan <laughs> right now is to go in and try to get more work from Keen as a ruse to look around? Yes. Okay. When we need to stall her, I was thinking. Yeah. So the core was going to be our main way of doing that. Yeah, you can like raid her alcohol again or something. Ooh, I wonder if she has any of that fancy stuff again. Yeah, it's not yeah a like, like, a, like keep her around so we can wait for step. whatever it is. Okay, then you, yeah, I guess we're on our way to Keynes again. Okay, how much time does it take to get there? About a half hour. Since I took my robots to help me pull out the venom, can I order them to pull to to harvest venom for me in this thirty minutes? Um, I'm gonna say that your crutch, having been harvested in the last twenty four oh, hours, are was... not going to be able to produce more venom. Oh wait, we. We went to. We did a long rest already. That's eight hours, not twenty-four. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You can't milk them dry. <laughs> no, that's exactly what he did, <laughs> and they're recovering <laughs> from it. <clears throat> okay. Then, does anybody else have anything else they want to do after our shopping episode? I polish my boots. <laughs> All right. Uh, the metal. Roll a, weird... a dexterity check. Who? Uh, I Alexis. rolled a seven. Seven? <laughs> They're not super shiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my you definitely was... used the wrong side of the polishing pad, and they're kind of like they're they're a matte finish. They're not a. That's what they. Sh should be though. Uh, I asked my holocron. Any, oh, oh, um, oh, oh, you're rolling the holocron? I'm rolling the holocron. I'm asking, do you have any advice for burning this place down? Uh, roll 2d10s. 2d10s? Oh. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Had to polish your boots. <laughs> Snake eyes. You rolled two What's... ones. I did roll two ones. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm you... never using these D10 again. Burn them. How do um? Yeah. How do you how do you inquire of your holocron? This was right. Oh, well, I've just li lifted up my hand. And I'm like, hey, holocron. <laughs> hey, lady in there. In there. I, like, I like tap it. Tap it. <laughs> roll a will save. Oh, crap. oh god. Uh, how am I gonna roll a will save? Um, oh, actually, no. That's I get to roll that. Uh, what is your will save? I'll ask you that. Sixteen. It's not great. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh dear God. Um, <laughs> hold on. Let me find my dice. Well, at least I might still burn it down, even if I'm not in control. That's my will save. Um. You take 17 damage. Oh my god. As the holocron explodes in your hand. What? What? Does it Why literally explode and there's nothing left? There is a Hold on. Um 
who's proficient in galactic lore? Anyone here? Core. Core. <laughs> core. Is anyone else proficient? No. No. All right. <laughs> Since this wasn't actually a crit fail because it's 2d10 and not a d20, can I add inspiration to it? No, it's two, it's two ones as far as I'm concerned with this roll. Um, okay. it, it's literally like the idiot's array, it's two ones. I kind of want to use a destiny point for it. It's up to you, man. You have that option. I didn't use the destiny point for level three. Are for level two, so they re it resets on level up. And it's gonna reset after this. It does. But then he has much another destiny point. This this finale is gonna be pretty epic, regardless. I will take the destiny. Okay, so add to the narrative. How do you affect destiny to stop this holocron from exploding in your hand? I wanted to pick up the fragments. <laughs> Be because the, to, to, negate, to, to negate the critical fail, uh -huh. this is something the holocron approves of, and the Sith Lord is like, oh yeah, taking out this base. Yeah. I can get behind that. I will actually help you for this. Here is some tactical thing or some power or something that would uh, help you take it out because I believe that taking this out would help you towards that path. Out of character, I'd say towards the dark side. But in character, you know, it's all a gray line. Okay. So here's what happens. You go to consult the Holocron and you ask a question and you use the word somewhere in your appeal, this isn't necessary for me. And the holocron starts to shine and glow. And you stare at it, and you see it right about to explode. You see fractals of energy coursing along the lines. And as it goes, you use the force to encapsulate it and it pulses and surges but you're able to keep it together and as you turn to ask it again for this necessary information Draina appears to you and says well certainly there are points of ingress egress and commerce but what you're looking for is a point of immobility. Strike and do not feel sorrow. Do not see mercy. Strike at their weakest point, which is what they call the menagerie. And as she says that word menagerie, you see lit up in your brain a image of Queen's estate, and there's a pulsing beacon off to the southwest. Hmm. So slaughter all the animals. Got it. Hey guys, I think I know where we should go. <laughs> Remember that menagerie we were at? Yeah. I feel like this is a place I should go right near there. I just feel it. You know what I mean, Raymond. Come on. Back me up on this. I, I, one of those I mean, I'm game. Yeah, that's where thoughts. I think all the bad That's where the Trandoshan said he didn't want me to go, but that's also where the, they told us not to go with a big turret pointed at us. I mean, we, so here's, we could just here's fly my, over it and jump out of the ship. That's the worst that can happen. I'm totally game for that. Here's what my thought was. Maybe while you guys distract them, me and... Um, Alexis, because we have our stealth belt, can go stealth off and try to find a turret control or a security control system and shut it down first. And then we can just go buck wild like you want. I mean, I, I can be pretty stealthy. I could just head straight there. No one's going to call me out on that? Okay. Yeah, I think you're not stealthy, right? I'll have you know, I hunt you in the jungles of Kashi. <laughs> At, well, no, Wookies no, are not, no. He would. Wookies, are, Wookies are not very stealthy, are they? Actually, um, at this point, Core is gonna roll a galactic history check. <laughs> I want 
Do we and, said that? Um. Uh, Go ahead. Boris, roll a deception check. <laughs> All right. I want to say I equip my jet boots and I put them on and I'll walk up into you guys and do this. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 Take an inspiration point. <laughs> that is beautiful. It is beautiful. Actually, no, no, that's one. That's one inspiration point. <laughs> Did you almost give him two inspiration points? I was close to it. I was close to it. it was one so good. Foot. Yep. <laughs> what was your deception roll, West? 18. 18? Uh, that... I, oh, I wait, also, no. Uh, oh. Plus 2. So that's 20. I rolled an 18 plus 4. Ah. Uh. So, as you say Wookiees are stealthy, Core kind of looks at you and says, I don't believe that's true. I believe most of you are large. And they're also very loud. Yeah. And he looks at Elixir and, and says, I believe yes, most people I who disagree book. with Wookiees get their arms ripped off. And as you say that, he goes, but you are not a Wookiee. Say and as he, that as he's again. saying that he's not stealthy, I'm going to try to stealth around and sneak up from behind. Over to him and be like, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Good song. So <laughs> just, just for my own personal edification, where are all of you right now i think we're i'm on the ship yeah, tapping my hook i was ready, yeah. assuming that we were in the lounge area of the ship okay so you're in the, lounge you're area in the, the ship you're in Dependent. the ship yeah, yeah. that's okay. what i imagined if we left the shop we would be would talking about you know okay i just wanted to make sure where you were a major industry we're in the cantina just talking about killing you know the the de facto leader of this area i rolled okay. a 21 on my stealth check by the way okay very good. So you're actually hold on. Let's. Do I have to make a reflex thing. save because that doesn't beat my reflex save? Holy crap! Uh, I just nat twenty. So I see you. I see all of you. I see everything. Ooh. And by me, I mean core. Oh, I was trying to sneak up on on. Oh, oh well, in that to case, prove that I'm more stealthy. Um, or sees you and winks at you. Okay. As you do that. On a reflex. Because I don't want to wait to nat twenty. Wait, the reflex save. Uh, no, stealth is against perception. Oh. Anyway, he hasn't rolled perception yet. Yeah, I haven't rolled perception. So roll your perception he if really he's trying to... Roll the deception. <clears throat> uh, the deception <laughs> was for the stealth. Wes in that one. Yep, in that one. <laughs> oh, you have no idea what's going on around you. Like, you see Core wink, and you're like, are you coming on to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then behind you, you hear Ray go, Ring, Core. <laughs> yes. uh, no, I, I essentially Davenport and I just got, I just say Raymond. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> <I miss. laughs> All right. <laughs> so So as you guys are um having this discussion on the ship, um generally gosh, I hate that Andrew's not here. Um okay. So here's what happens. Who's piloting the ship? Is it Andrew and um, Chris? Yes. Uh, yeah, that's our, that's so our Chris, pilot crew. You're your co-pilot, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm I'm going to impose on Andrew, your pilot, a perception check, and I, if you want, you can give him advantage on it. So I'm going to say that's the two of you pilot, working together. Perception. No, it's perception right now. Oh, okay. Yes, I will do that. Okay, so I'm going to roll Perception for Andrew. I have his character sheet. Okay, so with advantage, that's 12, that's 22. And then rolling against that. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> We're all going to die. Um, and it's still going to be Andrew's fault, even though he's not here. <laughs> So as you start flying towards Queen, you and I'm going to throw all of these checks over to you, 
Chris, because I don't want to roll against myself. I feel like that's dumb. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to say that I just rolled a 31 against no. your ship. <laughs> oh. Oh. And I'm going to say that I'm not going to roll damage. I'm going to use this as a narrative ploy. Okay. You take a, a turbo laser shot to your ship and the control panel in front of core blows up and knocks him unconscious. You are alone in the oh. cockpit. And I want you to roll initiative. Okie dokie. I believe in you. Just Chris or everyone? Just Chris, because this is ship-to-ship -ship combat. You could do the comms and have someone jump onto a turret. I think we have two turrets in here. We God, that like sounds a lot turrets. like metagaming. Are you <laughs> metagaming? Is that what's I'm... going on right now? <laughs> Raymond would definitely want to get into a turret. I feel like he's being if as he you... got shot... I... Okay. I think Ors would run to a turret as well. Okay, so let's let's Please. do this. As the ship rocks from the shot of the turbo laser, I'm going to give those who want to participate in this fight a pilot and two gunners a chance to roll initiative. Ooh, I'm gonna shoot things. Can I work? Uh... And I think to one engineer. And I think to determine. And that, here's what we're going to do. We're going to determine a medic who's going to support. We're going to determine a mechanic who's going to watch over the ship. And we're going to determine two gunners. So everyone roll initiative. Aye. And we're going to assign roles from that. Gunners are the two highest. Medic is the third. And mechanic is the fourth. I have 25. Uh, so That's do you not... still want me to do that pilot check? No, you're, there... pi you're piloting. Okay. okay. So that was a 16 for before. Okay. For the, 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 God, um, I put initiative. so much in initiative. <laughs> I got 24. Like, no, 15. All right. So um, Elixis and... Oh, this is going to be interesting. All right. Elixis and um, Ors, both of you, you feel the rock and you're like this isn't right, and you run towards the turrets. Wait, um, why is wait, Elixir's you, getting you. in the turret? <laughs> because he rolled high, and he's like, I have to respond to this. This is bad. Now, if you want, <laughs> if you want to delay your turn for someone else, I'll let you do that. All right. But I'm going to base that off intelligence. Other, I'm going to base that off intelligence versus just an instinctual reaction. Yeah, I don't think Instinctual reaction for my character with my horrible decks and my bad shot. Uh, that's not what you. This is going to be actually. You're going to roll against yourself here. This is going to be an intellect versus wisdom check. What's your wisdom modifier? Uh, two. Okay, what's your intellect modifier? Oh, sorry. No, those are reversed. I have one, uh, one wisdom to. All right. Uh, roll a d20 and add your intellect. 18. I rolled a 1 for your wisdom. So you definitely do the smart thing there. So do uh, the smart thing? So the smart thing is, is you realize that this is combat. You look around and you're like, I need to make sure that my my allies are safe. Uh, Rayma, what did you so roll you for an initiative? <laughs> <laughs> that might be what he does. <laughs> And the car precious cargo of my crutch. I need those things. All the while, everything's burning. This is okay. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, uh, Rayma. 15. 15? Oh, we tied. You tied. Um, what's your dex modifier, Rayma? Two. Liz? Five. Five. Oh, this. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Do you know that you have more... In Dex, and I have in everything else. <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> She's like, you poor little blue man. <laughs> I rolled well for her. I did not roll well for my pixie, but okay. I rolled well. So, um, Nona, Nona and Ors are in the turrets. Pew, pew, pew. Rima, you're running mechanic. You're going to look for anything that is busted on the ship basically in this encounter and Elixis, you're going to try to tend to anyone who's hurt. <laughs> Alright. 
Boom. There's our initiative. And with quote marks. I still want to make it known that I, I at least said something over the comm to let what did some you, people know. What did you say? I want to hear it. One oh, here. crap! <laughs> <laughs> uh... I would say we can, you know, take positions, take our positions or something like that, but we haven't really, I don't think we've ever established, like, who you does haven't. what on the ship. So I, I guess I can't really say that, that. And then everybody scrambled to figure out what the hell their position is. <laughs> I'll say, do, do the things, people. Do the things. <laughs> all right, so as all of you are getting ready in the ship, you hear uh, Tyrek in the cockpit go, do, do the thing! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who who's on uh, mechanics? Wait. Um, that would be Rama. Okay, I'm glad I just bought the multi tool last game. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> sonic screwdriver to help me. Yep, you got your sonic screwdriver. So the turbo laser bolt that I decided would not do damage knocked Core unconscious, and he's laying in the floor of the cockpit. So it's just you there, Tyrik. Mm -hmm. and, what else is new? And what did you roll for your initiative, Tyrik? 16. 16? Okay. Very good. So, right now, you seem to be, you seem to be in the first of the order. There's a silence in the combat. What do you do? Uh like to do a perception check to see if I can see on the on out the window or what are you on looking the radar for? or something to see if what 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 where we're getting the shot from. Okay, that's going to be a gather information because you're looking for something specific. So go ahead and make that roll. <laughs> I'm not proficient in that. Uh, that's eight. Eight. Um, can I see we a all rock. Look for no. That? No, you can't. You guys are in your positions. Like You're in turret. turret. Um, you have a 30 degree view in a turret. You cannot look up more than about 8 degrees and you can't look down more than about 8 degrees. Makes sense. Because that's how turrets work. So if it was in your field of view, I'd let you see it, but it's not in your field of view. So Tyrik right now is running the show. Uh, okay. So, so as you didn't see anything, your attacker is going to... Oh. Roll a two and a natural twenty oh. against your ship. Oh my gosh! Oh man! You don't even have to use destiny points. You just save, or you just murder us. That's six. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Andrew. We got a TPK while you were in well, Twenty-four. So, um, hold on. I need to pull up your ship's. Say who uh, our ship stats? I, I'm pulling. That up right now. Our ship is pretty OP, so we might have a chance. Yeah. Good. All right. So as there's a turbo laser again that comes in and just racks your ship, but your shield hold. You do not take any major damage, but there is definitely an overload coming on your shield if you take a hit Does like that again. Does the ship do a 360 because you know the momentum carries it? It does not. It just takes a oh. large hit and lurches. <sighs> and actually, I'm going to say that Tyrik, Rayma, and Elixis make um, make a dex save for me. Can we <sighs> um, no, it's dex. How do you okay. roll d20 and just, just add d20 it? plus your dex mod? Okay. I got cool. a lore. I'm on the 15s today, man. It's my rolling. Man, this dice is not being nice to me today. Yeah, I'm using uh, my dice from now on. Can I roll a deck save? Nope, you are Elixis you are out. in your you're in your chair. You're fine right now. You and Ors are fine. Pew pew pew. Yep. Like that. But you don't see anything. So if you want to shoot anything, it's going to be like <laughs> Flora and fauna. You're like, I'm so angry. <laughs> I just was like, Bob, Bob, can you bring up some drinks up to turret one? <laughs> you know what? Make a persuasion check. Oh, you God. would do that. No, <laughs> not yet. Yeah. Make a persuasion check. Oh, did God. You say that over the com for everybody to hear? Or yes, was, I did. It was in voice. Let's see. 15 plus I'm going to say 17. back. Now's not the time. <laughs> Hold Bless on. Bless you, Tarek. The 17. Bless yeah. you. Oh, that's 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 good. Hold I, on. I reply, it's always a time. <laughs> Weston, go ahead and just roll a D one hundred. Uh hand me different uh D tens. There we go. Six 
68. 68. That is... <laughs> All right. I'll take that. <laughs> you... Bow Bob hands you this kind of... Is it a my shot? Or it's just a shot? No, okay. no. It's a shot. And what you see in the shot is a pale green liquid topped with pink is there foam. A sip in it? There's not. Actually, you wouldn't know that, but I'm just going to throw that one out there. No, 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 it's fine. a little girly this time, Bob, but I'll give it a shot. Thanks. And, and at, look at the shot. You take it as yeah. he proffers it to you. I'm like, it's a little bit girly, but sure. Why not? You haven't yeah. seen me wrong yet, Bob. Bob. As you take it, uh, roll a d4. Four. Four. And we lost a turn. <laughs> we lost a gunner. <laughs> four. Yep. Oh. All right. Um. There's no perceptible change as you're sitting in the turret right now. All righty. Um. All right. So we rolled that, and the turrets don't see anything yet because we haven't moved in the ship. And I believe, Chris, what would you like to do? I want to be able Amazing. to use my tactics <laughs> to see if I can see any more information of where we're getting hit and stuff, because we need to know where we're getting hit from. That's fair. All right, make another gather information check. So can I just do a general perception check? Would that be able to tell me anything? Um, a perception check right now is going to give you the lay of the land around you. Ooh. If you roll well enough, maybe you'll see what's trying to attack you, but it's not... It's going to be a higher DC on perception than it is on gather information. Because on gather information, you're looking for a specific thing. Right. You get I what just I'm have going? a one in gather information, and then I'm proficient in perception, which I have a 13 on top of whatever I roll. It just depends. I mean, if you want to roll perception, you're just going to have to roll high. Mm. So it's a chance. Like, I mean, th these are not the DCs, but if I were to just pick numbers out of my out of a hat, you know, gather information would be 12 and perception would be 25. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it, it, that's the circumstance that you're in. Okay. I am going to... I'm going to do a perception check. for good. Okay. Go ahead. Um, okay. That is fantastic. 29. Oh, that is fantastic. So as you look out, you your ship is currently racked from the last shot, and everything's a little bouncing around, and you just don't quite know what's going on. And you see Cora laying on the floor. You look at your sensors, and you're like, hold on. I remember that Star Destroyer that we tried to scan. It seems to have taken notice of us, and you look at your sensors, and there is indeed an Imperial class star destroyer that seems to be targeting you. Oh, goody! Orish presses the calm, like so. Core, do we know who's shooting at us yet? And you hear, <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. So then I'll I'll take over and say course down, um, and then I'll tell him about the star destroyer that I saw. All right, and that we have one. We have a, a hit. We can't t really take another hit, un and that'll make our shields go down. Well, let's go attack that star destroyer. Mm. It's not how. It works. Can we attack it? Oh, we should not attack that. We. I, mean, I use the destiny like point to destroy the Star Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that's not how destiny points work. I use the destiny point to win the game. <laughs> I want to use you guys. I use the destiny point. We all teleport out of there. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find a narrative reason for that, beat me up, go. Scotty. <laughs> I use a destiny Enterprise. point to summon Captain Picard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is out of here. Oh, I checked the warp course? Sure. I summon Han Solo and he flies us out of here. 
<laughs> All right, so that's your turn, Chris. You made a successful check. You communicated to your team, and it is now um, Rayma. You're up. Okay. First off, um, I would like to rush over to a uh, terminal uh, intercom, and I blast this, which I'm putting in chat, in through the entire uh, intercom speaker. And then I immediately go and try to start buffing up the shields again. Uh, make a mechanics <laughs> check with advantage. With oh, yeah. you, you know what? No, no, no. I'm sorry. With double advantage. Because <laughs> my first roll was a five. Is that four rolls? That would be uh, three rolls, and you take the highest. Five, eight, and fourteen. And my mechanics is two. Two sixteen. So okay. Just Clayton. Okay, so 16, yeah, you you start playing around with the shields, and somehow, for some odd reason, as you're trying to get in there with your multi-tool, you hit your data pad, and you hear this just siren song erupt, and you hear just a righteous guitar solo, and as you hear that <laughs> guitar solo, yeah. you know, I got this. These shields. I can make them more than just a feeling. <laughs> so you are able you're able to stabilize your shields, and I will mark that on my ship counter. Alexis. I tell my droids to help with ship repairs. Okay. As I make my way to the bridge. <laughs> so they go help Rima, that's beautiful. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's um point. Just just real quick quick as an aside. Um, Rayma. <laughs> sir. Go ahead and roll... I'm going to call this a mechanics check. Roll a <laughs> you get advantage on that with the multi-tool, yep, right? You or do. you got once per encounter. I feel like... Um, no, I think that's... Natural 20. Oh, beautiful. This, this is so good. Okay, so here's what nice. happens. Elixis, you turn to your droids, and in Chinish, you direct them and they run towards Rayma and He's doing a complete air guitar solo at this point. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're <laughs> wailing on the multi-tool. You're just <laughs> wailing on the multi-tool. And as the three droids run up to you, they stare at you. <laughs> and then Roberto starts doing the air drums. Yes. <laughs> And, and then you see the other one start just doing a bass solo that is nasty. <laughs> and you see the third one start, he starts like putting little things around you guys. And you don't know what's going on. And as you hit the climax of that opening solo, there's fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> there's a full blown air guitar rock show going on in the back. And. I just want you to roll real quick to see how that affects the ship. So just make a d20 roll for me and add your mechanics at advantage. I got a nat 1 and a nat 2. Oh. I'm not using right. my metal die anymore. Uh, Alright, so here's what happens. As the droid is setting up pyrotechnics, it literally stacks one right next to the hull and blows a <laughs> hole in it. You are now venting O2. Oh, oh no! Put it in that one! <laughs> totally worth it! And I just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, we're back to our turrets. Um, turrets. Ores oh, we're and... not in space. We shouldn't be losing oxygen. Totally not. Okay. You are still but in now atmosphere. now we can't go out in space. That's Correct. Turrets, Ores, and Nona. Make a perception check for me. Stupid no. failing you the one and the two. Of course. 21. 26. 26. All right. Ores, you, you look around and you know something's shooting you, but you don't. Wait. You just. You don't see anything. You know you get shot, but you just you can't find it. Nona. Can I a ricochet shot? <laughs> With a 26, you're able to beat the DC 25. And you see above you a hulking figure. You see a giant steel gray contraption 
one that you've seen above your planet before, and this one is angry. It is attacking you. <clears throat> Making an attack roll. I'm confused. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Did you could fail? No. I got a 3 plus 8. 8, 9, 10, 11. Much like Keanu Reeves in Point Break. You point Break. Point, <laughs> point Break. You shoot into the sky. <laughs> 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 it, it just, just real mad. Just shoot up in the air. Oh. All screaming. He's real mad. Yep. No. I mean, Point Break. Uh, what is, Bad break what is that hot fuzz? Whichever one you want to go. She just shot into the air angrily. Um, All right, so that's that. That 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 that. Okay, and, question. Oh, yes. I didn't get a nat one. Am I too late to use an advantage? Yes. It's a little it's late. It's a little for that. late. I forgot. It's a little late. Not advantage. I mean, Inspiration. But still, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I am a little late. It's a little I late. I mean. Oh balls! Why didn't I do that? I. You know what? I'm taking that run back, Clay. No. You know what? Okay, you know what? I, I'm, I'm a decent person. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll it. Watch me nat one again. Go ahead and roll it. Just watch. watch. I got 13 this time. 13? All right. So you stabilize. And Great. I'm, I'm going to give you advantage on that attack roll, Nona. Oh, why? Because he stabilized and the ship was not in conflicts. So but go me, ahead and roll it once more. Yeah. I stopped the, yeah, there's... the droid from exploding things. Didn't get a buff, but I guess that works. Okay, 12. That's a lot better than 3. So 12, 20. 20? Yeah. All right. So here's what happens. As you start shooting angrily into the sky, you're like, oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> you see small explosions. You see three pinpoints of oh, light yeah, that were like heading that. towards your ship explode in sequence. We and, took out some proton torpedoes. Or and you get the feeling own. that you have protected your ship in some way. Yeah. Christopher, please make a pilot check for me. Did I at least order another oh. drink? Bob, Bob. Nat 20. Plus 40. Yeah. Oh. Yes! Go, Mr. Chris. All right. <laughs> so here's what the hyper space. Um, Chris, yes. in your mind right now, where are you going in this ship right now? Three seconds. Uh, out of here. One. <laughs> A location. Two. Mm, that spot we talked. Three. Yeah. Three. What? What spot? Sorry. Were we heading towards Keens when this whole thing yep. went down? Yep. Yeah. No, roll yeah. a D four. Okay. I failed. It, there's no fail. Just roll a D four. Mm. You rolled two. You're jumping. You you look around and you panic, yes. and you and you just, you don't know what to do. But for some odd reason, there's just some. You are flying like a madman. There are explosions. There are laser blasts. But you are dipping, diving, dodging, <laughs> weaving. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a star destroyer. <laughs> you are everywhere. You are everything that has ever meant. And now he's proficient at piloting. <laughs> but you don't know where to go. So you think, where was I safe last? And you jump back to the not starport. <laughs> <laughs> now we're here. <laughs> and you find all of yourselves Back at the Nabot starport. Let's not do that again. That was awful. I feel like levelly up now. <laughs> we completed the puzzle. <laughs> 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 the puzzle. The Star puzzle. So, Star Destroyer's been shooting us. So I was just, I was just amazing at I would flying, like to but calm I just took us to a the, lane. Um, I'm still just pressing the calm and talking, by the way. No. I'm sorry. I, I, hold on, I, hold on, hold on. I'm calling the... Chris, what was that? So I was just saying I flew like a madman and then I just took us to a lame location. Unfortunately, oh. with the way you rolled on your D4 as well as your uh, save, yes. That's okay. how it worked out. There Where's was the four places... Where were we up in the bot star for? There was four places you could have gone and believe me, this one was not the worst. Inside the Star Destroyer. <laughs> yeah, Where, it's when... not I, bad. I would like to call the... Rebels on the encrypted mm -hmm. com, and I give the code and such. Mm -hmm. 
So, by the way, the Star Destroyer, really angry. As you, as you start saying that, you hear this voice come across and say, Well, maybe in the future, don't scan it. I mean, you scanned it, and it knew. It knew. It, it saw. It knew. It, you scanned it. Why? What? It was a distraction Why? for you. You're welcome. But I mean. but there's there's no <laughs> there's a there's proprietary stick. I hit the mute com uh, button, not not muting them, but muting myself. Like who scanned it? <laughs> I didn't scan. Did Core scan it? I'm blaming Core. And you, I, you just hear a litany of why, what, who, why, why? It's an. It just you just hear a really flustered person on the other end of the line. <laughs> but seriously, who can it? Um, is this over the comms? It is. And yeah, it's it, open. And I will have all of you know if you go back and listen to our last episodes, you will see that. I believe it was Kor and Tyrik. They decided to um, scan the Star Destroyer in orbit. I don't remember. And I all. rolled against it, as you heard. Yeah. And this is the end game of that. Oh. I don't remember that at all. I thought we changed our, our plates. So uh, not so since no. then. Okay, not since then. It was before that. You're Correct. right. I know. That's weird. No, it's stupid. I mean. All right. I, I need to come. Like, okay. Okay, so one of our crew members did decide to do that. that why? 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 Because why? we why? house idiots. How can we use this to our advantage? They really hate us right now. Run away. Distract them. Give us our distraction, and we can follow through. I Just pipe in. Go. Where, which way do you want us to go? South. South space? They say <laughs> south space. It, do you know the, do you know the compass like north is up on a planet west is left on a planet is that south close down to the cave? i want you to go down yeah towards the core or was no, it not, north not the core <laughs> no he's already in the ship i don't care i just want you all to know Clayton is speaking into an invisible microphone or an invisible walkie-talkie right now while he's responding to you. Oh, God. Take inspiration. I love it. Maybe roleplay more, and you'll get inspiration. So I'm getting inspiration? <laughs> yep, you. For tucking what into the I... microphone. You were talking like <laughs> <laughs> I was! I didn't even know what I was doing, man. I'm taking away your rum now. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, I was just no. making more rum. My gift. <laughs> what did you use as a microphone? My hand. My empty hand. He, he just held it into his hand and squeezed like he was talking to a walkie-talkie. That's amazing. <sighs> does it at least make okay. you happy? It does. I okay. didn't know I was doing it. I honestly... Well, that's good enough for me. Until I was looking over here and you're holding it and you have the, your middle finger down and squeezing like you had a uh, walkie-talkie in your hand. <laughs> that's fantastic. I mean, just as an aside, I want to throw this out there. Thank you. Thank you all for this. This makes my Wednesdays so much better. I appreciate it. I enjoy playing with all of you. I apologize for anything that's awful, but thank you. This is this is a treat for me. And I love that I get to share it with you guys and my wife. So thank that all of really, you. That was thank really you. sappy. <laughs> you know what? You have have you had... <laughs> I haven't! Like, so, I haven't had any more than... Ugh. What was that? That was uh, Nate. No, it's okay. So did, we're good. Um, what, Weston shared the information he sensed, right? Uh-huh. Um, it's up to him. Yeah, I immediately said it. It's always yeah. an open book. So, so I, I call him back. I'm like, all right, so by the way, it seems as though they have flame troopers, whatever that is. Um, again, as an aside... That was twelve hours ago. Oh, I know. But, okay, but I, I'm letting I'm you know. Just that the Imperials letting have, you know like, the timeline of, of where we are right now. Yeah, I know that was twelve hours okay. ago. 
I'm not saying that they're on the base right now. I'm saying that, by the way, there's like an elite squadron with with this Star Destroyer. I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page. (laughs) Well, why don't we head south to distract the Star Destroyer until our friends can get in there, and then after that, we'll head to Keen's place (sighs) with the slaves and blow the whole place up. Let's take a vote on it. I like that last part. (laughs) I mean, I'm cool just rocking with my new band here. (laughs) And um, Layton actually make a make a mechanics check real quick. Eighteen. Oh, well, yeah, eighteen. Roberto is shredding the air drums right now. I just want you to know that. <laughs> just, I mean, there's the air drums, and then he's like going to the side of the ship, and he's like <laughs> on the ship side, and then he's. Going down to the maintenance hack, and he's like, ting, 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 ting. And he's just <laughs> going to town. It's majestic. And then Ray majestic. gets a little out of hand and pulls a full Marty McFly, and everybody's <sighs> like staring at him. Roberto's still into it. He's like going with you, and the other yes. two droids, they're staring at you, and they're like, oh, I don't know. What's this? Okay. And, so, what's the plan? I don't know. What's the plan? <laughs> Let's go else? south. Let's go south. Let's jump back and go south. Do a uh, Can I do a use computers check to? We, we're Phil. already on false yes. plates, right? Actually, nice hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not using our actual ship registration um, right now, right? You're not, but it. Hold on. Uh, both of my gunners make a. No, no, you don't need to. Uh, just oars. Make a perception check. <laughs> so I say ships. we finish the ship off. Finish we wanted to destroy off. our ship? <laughs> what? You mean, we didn't even start. <laughs> we didn't even hit it once. It's a, it's, it, we literally didn't hit the side of a barn. 25. Okay. So, um, oars, Nona, both of you see this hulking ship above you. Oh. And you realize that it's in view. You could take shots at it, but um both of you just make intelligence checks real quick. Right. Just D twenty well, plus I'm gonna be D twenty plus so, your intelligence. Eleven. Twenty one. Alright, so or as you look at it and you're like, I got this. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow this out of the sky. Yeah. No, no, you look at it and you're like, "Oh God, this is gonna destroy me." <laughs> we need to go. Okay, can I say something over the intercom really quick? Yeah. Okay. Actually, um, Weston, what's your dex? <laughs> My dex is twenty-two. No, 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 your uh, bonus. Sorry. Six. Six. All right, you you move first. Oh. Pew pew pew. You're gonna, <laughs> all right. No. Roll the hit. Alexis would like to take this time it's not, to see if you can it's upgrade not your the shields. Turn. Not your turn. Take this time and go knock out ors. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Nick. Was I proficient in this as a soldier? I I honestly don't know. For a... it just um make an attack roll. I've got everything else that. here. Can uh, can Rayma and his guitar friends rage, please? Uh, uh, Twenty. Oh, I was gonna say give him advantage. Um, I would have allowed it, but with the net twenty, I don't see why. Actually, hold on. Was that a natural twenty, or was that with your Just extra D four? It was nineteen plus two. It didn't work. What? This I mean, one time, your Sith luck did not work. I, I, I will let inspiration to add to it. Okay. I was going to give you advantage through Rayma, but if you want to spend a force point or well, an inspiration. I'll do, I'll do well, I don't first. think he's going to get better than a, a 21 on that. I can try. I mean, if I can add inspiration to that role, that's fine, but how does it work? With no, that? wouldn't you mean force point I was to gonna... add a d6? No, so I was going to has... that Rayma is just like wailing on his multi-tool. Oh, just go into town. Fixing the ship and, and like giving boosts every Cause he can. I, I, I don't understand. Inspiration is a reroll. No, no, no. Inspiration is advantage. So, so yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's a reroll. 
Yeah. When you want right. to add a force uh, point is force point plus to add a d6. six. Oh, that's true. Because he's not going to get better than a nineteen. I mean, we did keep the odds he might get against that. Twenty. There's an option there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. But yeah, your Sith how, luck how, does not. How much advantage ball. do you have on your attack rolls? What does that give you for? Oh full? wait. I, wait. And I'm my thing for the attack roll because it was the that twenty. It was oh. Nine, it was twenty one plus what? twenty. One plus four for twenty-five. Yep. Oh, you're good then. Oh, that hits. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was saying. I don't want it to. I've been hitting the rum. No, we don't want it to hit. <laughs> but it's not a it's good either... thing. Yeah, it is. Let's blow this turd out of the sky. <laughs> I should have. Have I made it to the bridge yet? I... You're running medical. Yeah, yeah I know. Is, uh, is what that I said where you were was... gonna head? What I said was, um, I I started the droids to help Kyle, mm -hmm. and then I was walking to the bridge because so that was all your I movement. Hear from core is, it's <laughs> not your, it's not your action yet. Yeah, I know it's not my action yet. But, but yeah, on okay. your next action, you're probably gonna be in bridge range. Because I'm pretty sure we need like an advantage on piloting more. Fair enough. All right, um, Weston, roll damage. Yeah. Uh, your turret, your turret is three D eight. Let's see. That turret looks. Well, turret <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> that's a second eight. Come on, one more mm, time. Come Three on. eights. Yes. This that was the awesome. yes. rap. <laughs> Star Destroyer explodes. We all win, and the the Ewoks will just celebrate. Lesson crit his attack roll. He doesn't work my attack roll three times. After a crit 20, essentially. And with oh, you gotta give me something for this. I just All that. right. So, so here's what happens. <laughs> Wars. You've seen one of these ships before. You were young. You don't remember much about the day, but you remember fire. You remember plasma and you look up at this thing and there is just an anger oh, hey. just all of it and you see those giant balls, <laughs> balls sitting on top of this ship and you're like well my balls are sensitive <laughs> <laughs> should be sensitive Logic. and you focus your fire <laughs> on the rightmost ball and you exploded. You just wreck that shield generator. And I'm going to say that this Star Destroyer has one of its shield generators blown up. You have, ex you have destroyed one half of this Star Destroyer's defensive power. That's what I'm talking about. With four crits. Yes. Oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> my turn? Um, yeah. We take out a Star Wait. Destroyer in a tiny in ship. In the year we're in, has a Star Destroyer ever been destroyed yet? Um, These are still invulnerable ships. I think so, actually. If we're looking at time... No. Then again, the first Star Destroyer ever destroyed was on... Uh, on Ryloth, wasn't it? Uh, I don't. Honestly, I haven't done that much research. I don't uh, know. You, you, uh, oh, you haven't read Lord of the Sith yet? I haven't. No, actually, no, yeah, it was in that one. Yeah, it was on Ryloth. Way to stick to the uh, actual. Yeah, yeah. way to stick to canon. <laughs> Let's do this. I mean, this dude, Enjoy. I got this. <laughs> 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 DM takes inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make your attack roll, no, no, or I mean, take your turn. What do you want to do? You uh, saw. Yeah, oh, by the way, I forgot to add. I should get the dex bonus for that too. So my attack roll should actually have an extra. Plus Stop being greedy, you slut. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you actually rolled a thirty-one. Yeah. <laughs> no one cares. You blew the crap up. It's good. Yeah, 20, 28. 
Oh, no! What? what? Yes! Do the thing! Yes. That is beautiful! Why do you people insist on breaking my card during game? <laughs> roll 3d8! Just roll it! Just go ahead! Get 3 8 Get 3 8 The other shield generator explodes. I just want to make a game of D&D, people! <laughs> <laughs> That's our third crit of the night. I I I, I don't know if the, it fits that it's one. I can't see it from there. It's the one that stops at eight. <laughs> Do we get advantage? Is that why? No, you, no the damage you, is just... you crit. It's going to double. You get three. You get to roll three d eight. Okay. It's the pyramid looking one with two pyramids on each side. <laughs> what? Well, two pyramids, pyramids on each side? Other, two How pyramids connected. Work? Two pyramids connected. Sing dreidel, dreidel, dreidel and look for that one. <laughs> beanie, beanie, teakle, parsons. <laughs> okay. Seven. One. And eight. Are you going to add anything to that, or are you good? Damage? All Is right. that what I'm rolling? Um, It's going to be your dex mod. Oh, my dex mod. Eight total, or you roll the one and you roll the eight, and you still need to roll the third one. I no. rolled a seven, one, and eight, and my dex mod is five. So it's five plus each of those. No, no. Plus attack roll, right? Yeah, plus the bonus, which whatever your base attack bonus is. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. The other generator blows up. Yes! What did you roll in defense? I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> Apparent, apparently, Sergeant Stutters decided to not engage their shield generator for some reason. Is Seven for rolling for you or something right now? <sighs> I would like to calm the. Um, Since you the, rolled so low on that, does it damage the again? ship at all? <laughs> other than the shield generator? No, it just, never mind. We got this. They have, <laughs> this imperial class star destroyer. <laughs> pew pew. Has no shields <laughs> right now. I, I would like to call the rebels again. Um, hold on. It's not your turn okay. yet. Um, after the gunner, we had Tyrek, right? He rolled the fifteen. We had Tyrek. We had the gunners, and. and then we have, and then, I believe, Rayma, then Elixis, then me. So, Rayma, what are you doing? I would like to... As you're it, shredding away. As I'm shredding away, I would like to like look and see if I can find torpedoes. or On the ship? Like, like anything, like what are our munitions like besides blasters? Um, discover this. I'm going to oh. say as, this is free knowledge to you as the captain you know what your munitions are uh you've got you have no proton torpedoes you have no concussion missiles you literally just have the turbo lasers installed in the ship you haven't taken the time to supply your ship with either protein proton <laughs> or concussion missiles okay and in that case i'm going to try to give a super boost if i can to like boost the power to the engines for two. Uh, you want to give yourself a movement boost? What one? You're looking for a movement boost? Yes. All right. Yeah. So good. Make a make an X check. First roll is mm -hmm. seven. Advantage. Do, 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 do. That's a thirteen plus my two is fifteen. Fifteen. All I'm right. Like the guys on the Star Star are kind of freaking out a little bit. Oh, if you could see what's going on in that ship right now, it's not pleasant. <laughs> there's a whole lot of worry, and there's some senior off officers that are like, I really hope Vader doesn't hear about this. I don't <laughs> want to get down. There's the choking. Yep. That's a paddling. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that Tarkin would be any more generous. Um, Tarkin is nowhere near this star system right now, as we all know. Yep, that's true. He's nowhere he's here. 
But anyway, I digress. Um, okay, so we got that. The engines get a boost. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Elixis, you're up. I call in the rebels. Hmm? Like, hey guys. All right. So we just that. destroyed the shield yeah. generators on that star destroyer. Well, what what's your guys' uh, aerial military look like? <laughs> um, Liz. Mm hmm. Roll a d6 for me. Two. Two? All right. <clears throat> so you contact your um, your friends over on the Rebel channel, and, and you hear a voice on the other side go, Well, congrats! Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> you made them angry. Thanks! I but mean, they don't have shields. Yeah, and neither does my mother. But she's still living forever, apparently. <laughs> I can help Wait, you with that. Barbara! <laughs> is that you? <laughs> Alexis, you owe me money, you stupid... Thing. Well, Schmuck. I'm trying to keep. PG you mean Rimley didn't here. pay? Yeah, Rimley <laughs> came around and he was like, "Hey, where's my stuff?" And I'm like, "Hey, Rimley, I sent it with your courier." And he's like, "I don't have a courier." And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> you did that. You did that." <laughs> You. I shrug. I can't see you shrug. This is Holocom. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here on Ryloth, and I'm doing things and stuff, and now you're blowing up children. That's amazing, but that's not what we're doing today. Don't you want to be the first one to take down one of these things? No, I want to be the first one to live. But the infamy. I, do you know me? Think of the senoritas. <laughs> the the the, the Bothan has a point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that word means, but I feel like it's good. You want this? Okay. Here's what we're going to do. What time is it? It's about, what, 10, 10? We did this in like five minutes. I think we can do anything. No, no, you said it was 30 minutes. 10, 40? All right. So you look around, and and you, 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 you let... Um, Galactic Bar local know. time? Yeah, you let Barra know that it's a... It, it's a it's close to 11. It's about 10.45 or so. And he he says, listen, you take care of the big thing and we'll look down here. And, and next time you're on our show, uh, well, well, I'll take care of your speeders for you. Do you have Peace any, like, out! Well and the missiles dries. <laughs> well, I didn't do any good. Hey guys, I talked to Barbara. Shot, I <laughs> Let's Batter. guess what? Oh, Bob, where's the second drink? We don't have a death warrant from Rimley. <laughs> nope, you don't. You don't, and for some odd reason, people you've met in the past have a connection to this rebellious movement. They don't want to kill us. <laughs> and they don't want to kill you. And as so you ask about you that You didn't second... think about I was going to just call you on your... Yeah, no. I didn't. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Um, as you ask about that second drink, um, just roll a... I guess that's a... a... Sounds strength. I guess that'd be a constitution. Yeah. 
Roll a constitution save. <laughs> That's not a good thing for me. I can have more of that. Uh, ten. Okay. You didn't feel much from the first drink, and as you go to take the second drink, Bob, he, he doesn't hand it to you fully. He kind of holds it so you have to stand up to grab it. And as you stand up, make another constitution save. Bow, Bob. I rolled the 18. Okay. So as you stand up, you kind of feel a little woozy. But then as the wooziness settles, there's a, there's a clarity. And you remember this clarity. It's like the first time you ever had a drink. Everything else fades to the background and you have a clarity you have a singular focus and go ahead and take a plus two to all attack rolls and the second bonus that you get is <clears throat> <laughs> you take a negative one to hit because that second drink might have been a little too much. So net gain plus one to hit. No, I keep meaning to get to the bridge, but I keep calming instead. You do. You can just stand that there in the exactly middle of the bridge. And as... Um, <laughs> Can I see one like at the door, like as of the bridge, or maybe the, walking uh, in as I'm talking in the bridge? He's, he's just seeing core kind of flap around. <laughs> okay, no. Can ground. I see by walking the bridge on the shaking. phone call and just like just push core off the bench and just have him fall to the ground as I just swing in his chair, just talking on the comms? You know, I don't know. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's someone else's roll. Uh, who gets who gets to roll? Who gets to roll for that? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, Rama. Go ahead and roll for that. Roll a d6. If it's even, it happen. It happens. If it's odd, it doesn't. Rama is muted. That was a three. Oh, well, it doesn't happen. Oh. He's still flapping around. All right. Um, All right, so but did I make it to the bridge, at least? Because walking and talking, uh, I get action and movement, right? You get action and movement, but you started down by the med bay that's up the stairs, that's through everything. With no, but it's been like three turns or three two rounds. turns since I've done this. Uh, I'll, say, I'll say as this third round crests, you're just getting there. You are slow. Oh. Well, he's stopping to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's and... gesturing wildly why he's on this call. Yeah, exactly. And as we start, it you. is now the Star Destroyer's turn. They have no shield generators, but they are extremely PO'd. And they You'll rolled a one a... Oh, yes. and a four. <laughs> <laughs> we win! I'm Horse so fly. sad. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> I'm the one so... that's gonna explode? Nope. You know what happens here? The DM uses a destiny point. No! Ah! So scared. I'm gonna say that both of these shots hit. <gasps> Lame. We have full shields right now. They you hit do... with minimum requirement. You do both. You have shields, but I'm gonna say that both of these hits strike. And Corey's knocked out again. 16. <sighs> wow. wow. I I rolled 2d6 four times and rolled 8 every time. Wait, you rolled 2d6 and you got... Oh, total. Mm -hmm. I was like, how did you get an 8 on a d6? Well, like, with, a, you with rolled... a 5 and a 3, and a 4 and a 4, and then a 6 and a 2, and then another 5 and 3. So that 16... 32. So that's 32 to your ship. Where's. And that's your shields. Your shields shudder. Oh gosh. 
and strike and they collapse and there's feedback from that um Tyrk, roll a dexterity save for me just <coughs> dex d20 plus dex 15 15 all right you take two damage as the panel in front of you explodes and your shields go offline the entire panel or just the shield area oh the entire panel like what happened to core seemed to happen to your panel but you dodged out of it oh i think it's time to run it's your turn tier does okay is the ship the ship can we still the ship is fine but you have no shields right okay. now all right um i'm gonna use that boost for marina mm-hmm. and we're gonna head south all right yeah down so, so you you're trying to run away uh, yes. Make a pilot check for me. Because there's no way we're going <laughs> to... There's totally a way. If we all do just crits for the rest of the game, <laughs> we might do And at least uh, the only person who's missing a destiny point is Andrew, right? I missed it. I used my destiny. beginning of this one. 20. 20? Yep. All right. Let's what see what happens. Net, 20, 20. That's fine. All right. So you take the ship, you see your friends lying on the floor, you see the disarray of the ship, and you grab the controls. And this is your first time. And just for giggles, roll a percentile dice for me, two of them. What dice That's is that? Two D- That's a 2d10, and one of them will have a zero at the end. <clears throat> I got a 10. And 7. I'm going to say, uh, um, in this moment, you're now proficient in the pilot skill. Oh, whoa! Nice. Gain Wait, in this profic- moment or total? Total. Yeah, you gain, in this moment of trial, you have prove yourself you have established in this universe that you Tyrik, are a master of the piloted craft and uh, so go ahead and take proficiency in that and you get away and they don't see you the you are able to evade the star destroyer and you are far south farther south than you have been on ryloth but not outside of what's comfortable you have seen this area whereas others are not acquainted with it but you have a general idea of where you are you are just maybe 200 300 meters south of the equatorial forest and probably about a 15 20 minute journey from queen's estate Um, is there any jamming or scrambling we can do so we don't get followed? That's a wonderful question. Um, let's see. What would that be for you? That would be a probably use computer. Go ahead and make a use computer check. Can I call up Alexis to do that? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll say you can if you want to. Alexis, I instantly open the door. Just like, yeah, what do, what do you need? <laughs> do the computer thingy with the scrambly, jammy thing. He posed after saying that too. Two hands on the hips. Did you did you can walk you in like I do with my jam boots? thing? <laughs> I rolled really, really high. Good. So it was use computer, right? Yes. I use computer. Well, <laughs> that is high. I rolled a 32. Good lord. We are never seen again. <laughs> what? We physically disappear. <laughs> we enter a different dimension. <laughs> How? How do you roll a 32? He rolled an 18 and he has a plus 14 on his character sheet. Oh my god. 
Why are you people so broken? I'm gonna have to find a way to nerf. <laughs> okay, no, no, I am a really weak person. I just have like three stats. I have plus ten. In. <laughs> Uh, hold on a second. Really weak person, plus ten in three stats. Those ting things do not go together. Three skills. Okay, okay, There's but they're useless skills. ones. It's use computer, treat injury, and deception. All right. Regardless, a not useless. B. Okay. So you go and you do your voodoo, whatever <laughs> that is. On the computer, and I'd like to add in that I have their data pads, and I have who's and there? I nat twentyed on on who's there, um, huh? Who is their data pads? I have. We're we're going into queen territory now, right? That's where you're headed. Oh, that's where we're headed. Never mind. I honestly was a little bit distracted when you were explaining. That situation. That's Sorry. True. It's okay. I assume we're already in their territory. So you jam it like they do in uh, Spaceballs? Yeah. They literally throw like literally strawberry jam. Literally raspberry jam. Or raspberry. Oh, oh. yeah, raspberry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're gonna... No one would dare to give me the raspberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So all of you, you set yourself up. You go ahead and prepare the countermeasures for entering into Queen's estate, which that's what I'll allow that role for. And you guys find yourself about a minute or so outside of Queen's estate. And Andrew is still twitching on the ground. Just so everyone knows where everything is. What are you doing? Should we just try to stealth in from here? So what happened with the jamming thing? Did I miss something? You don't know? Jam you successfully jammed, I think. Is there a way to check on that? Or... Would you like to check on that? I'd like to check on it. Actually, yeah. I'd like to ask Elixis to check on that. <laughs> what are you asking him to check on? I'll ask him if the jam was successful. We will see. I can't do like a check or something, Clayton. Well, well, I assume that if I can't do a check for my uh, double agent skill, that I won't be able to tell and still pretty much it happens. Clayton is the wrong. Okay, forget what I said. So, do, can can I perception and see how far we are from the menagerie? Or um, you don't have an exact idea where the menagerie is. That's just uh, or character. But as far as I from... pulled the map on the data pad from the Twilight. All right, you pull up the map, which I already and... quit crit twenty in, in yeah, data yeah, yeah. device. I remember. So you see some various naughty texts pop up in the recent history. Stop sending these, but he doesn't even have it anymore. What? <laughs> <laughs> I would not be sending them. I file those back into no! what I'm sending. <laughs> you, you see Nona in the back of the ship no. just with a data pad taking pictures. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. That didn't happen. That was just... That was for... That was for the um, so as you pull up your map, you see there's a large open area that's unobstructed from the main grounds and from anything else. And, um, Weston, you kind of see this map and you point to it and you're like, that's where I feel we need to be. And you point to a section of the map and all of you kind of focus in on it. Did you just lose connection? For a second, I didn't. No, no West, Weston did. <laughs> I did. I accidentally knocked over where my headset was. That happens. Basically, uh, mechanically speaking, you all know where the menagerie is. You may not know what it is, but you know where it is. How far away from it? Um, right now you're on the edge of the territory. You're probably about uh 600 meters away, oh, okay. and you're still in your ship. 
And as you are approaching this destination, uh, Bob, Bob kind of saunters up to all of you and says, Huh. It feels like we need to do a... His voice you know, changed. <laughs> one of those uh, Felucian drop-offs, but um, I don't want to be part of this without payment. So I'll be in the alley, and if you want to pay me, I'll help. And he walks away. Um, Bell Bob, when have I ever stiffed you? Not nearly enough. And he continues walking away. I, I tipped him when I gave him drink when he gave me drinks, didn't I? But that was yeah. once. And apparently he doesn't feel like that was enough. Okay, Bow Bob, how much do we owe you? Reasonably, don't give me a false number. I'll know. I'm gonna go ahead and say I, I, I just yell out and interrupt. And I say, here's three fifty. I'll be at the helm. And he just walks towards the helm. <laughs> What does Balbob look like right now? Uh, right now? Not that I can see him, but I just want to know out of character. Uh, out of character, um, Balbob's walking by, and if you could picture Gilbert Godfrey <laughs> yes. with an afro, uh, yes. <laughs> that's what Balbob looks like. Is it afro like. pink? Um, no, actually, it's teal. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, nice. that, that, that. That works. Yep. Teal Afro on Gilbert Godfrey, and that's what Bob Bob looks like. I also throw it to Rayma. I was like, see? Group fund. <laughs> Good idea. So, you guys are flying in to Queen's estate. Um, Tyrick, make a pilot check for me. <clears throat> with my new Yes, with your new super pilot. That's right. Here is the dice. There's the dice. There's a 27. What? Yep. Is that great? I rolled an 18 plus a 9. Nice. All right. So as you're flying in, you're literally laying back in the chair using your feet. On the <laughs> yes. And as you come into. Um, <clears throat> The area, I should say, of Queen's uh, Landing Pad, you begin to be hailed. And the hail comes across of Firebat. State your visit. State why you're here. And that comes over the comm channel. Elix? <laughs> no, no, do you want to take this? <laughs> uh, well, I don't give not... her a choice. Uh, I just... I, 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 I reply back that... I don't have high persuasion. Nona requests the presence of the Twi'lek. Who's that, that charisma? I totally remember the name of. Uh, Farouche. Oh, God. I was going to punish him for not remembering the name. <laughs> all right. I have his full data pad. I have all of his messages. I no. know his name. Is your name on your cell phone? Totally. Is it? Yeah. Mine is really? Mm hmm Okay. All right. So as you approach, you're contacted, and you basically convey in a convincing manner that you're dropping Nona off for a weekend visit. Mm -hmm. No, that's not the plan. <laughs> I did not inform. I did not inform Nona. Of this. <laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, you you gain landing privileges and. You are in Queen's Estate. As you approach the, um, you dock, everything's fine. As you get out, you see that there's a, um, there's a luxury skiff waiting for you. <laughs> VIP. 
just gonna remind it. I feel like Rayma was very important to this plan, and he's not here. Okay, all right. Give me that face. All right, let's go. I've got my orchid in hand. All right. I want to finish this art. I have a plan. <laughs> All right, so everyone gets on the skiff and you start heading into Queen's Estate. So it's about a it's about a ten minute journey. Uh, does anyone want to do anything on the journey in, or are we just going to pick up once you land how, how at the estate? How many are on the skiff? Uh, on the skiff right now, uh, there's two serving droids. There's one pilot, and there seems to be an escort of some sort, but. Um, if you're looking for armed guards, none. I would like to take a check and see if the pilot or the escorts are looking at that droid at all. The serving droids? Mm -hmm. No. No, they're just going about their duties. The serving droids are, you know, they're... I would like to take control of the droids. How? How are you planning to do that? Oh, there's no easy accessible data port on regular droids. Are there? No, I don't. I had the data pad last time. Correct. Oh. Never mind. Oh, I'd use um, Farouche's data pad. See if he's access how, to them. How? How are you going to link with them? You gonna like jam it into, into one of them? Wi-Fi password. You, you, you. That's not how things work in Star Wars. <laughs> it worked with the uh, data pad in the Sith Temple. Yeah. All I had to have was the data pad that was that linked was to linked them. to them. Okay, so he doesn't have servant droid privileges. It doesn't seem like it. <laughs> hey, like I wanted droid a servant. One. Servant droid. Two. <laughs> servant My droid, droid army two. will be complete. God dang it! You're like Dr. Moreau with the freaking droids. Oh my gosh. Okay. I rolled a 20 on that data pad. It should give me more long lasting abilities. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I quietly remind everybody of the plan that they need to stall until our whatever inevitably comes? Our backup crew. Actually, here's how we're going to do this. Um, Ors, Elixis, Tyrik, make intelligence checks, and Nona, make a persuasion roll. Oh, my strong. Okay. 16 for me. 10 for me. 7 on Elixis. Persuasion plus 4. 16, 17. Okay. So I'll. All I think second you in here should totally have access to droids. So all of you are like <laughs> bouncing around. Uh, Oris is drinking. Tarek is looking for upgrades to his boots. Elixis is looking at the droids. And Nona's like, hey. 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 I rolled a 16, though. Yeah, she rolled a 17. So get on get on my level, son. <laughs> <laughs> I want to at least a little, be a little coherent about like look for like... Random like new laces or something. All right. So, what are you looking for? What are you doing? Tell me. No. Well, I, <laughs> I just wanted to be born part of it. <laughs> Already knowing the plan. All right. So, Tyr looks around and he's like, "Alexis, why are you doing that?" Or is what? What are you doing? And then Nona comes in and says, hey, hey. And you're like, finally, someone. Someone who knows what's going on. And Nona turns to everyone and says, this is what we're doing. All of Wait, you get in line. What was Rayma doing? Uh, was he singing again? I think Rayma was... was no. that, that Roberto was there so he could jam with him more? You know, honestly, I have nothing... <laughs> I have nothing decent to say about either of our AFK players, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that they're they're doing whatever it is they're doing. They're they're not in 
combat they're not in any danger. They're just walking they're just... forward and rubber banding like exactly. we have really bad lag on the MMO. Like maybe <laughs> maybe they're playing chess. I think the two of them are playing some form of chess, like hollow chess. And they're just really yeah, into it. Poisons both of them. <laughs> probably. That probably happens. Grandma was okay. our also. Now all we have is Elixir. Not reliable. Though. Not reliable. But anyway, so that's that's what happens. All, <laughs> because of that rule, all of you are inclined to follow Nona's advice for the next for the next bit of the encounter encounter and I'll say that if you want to break away from what she wants to do it's going to be a wisdom saving throw I mean as long as always it's <laughs> people he doesn't really care yeah I'll go along with it yeah whatever or the seven so you fly into Queen's encampment and I'm going to say for flavor no one is probably sitting near the uh Front side of the ship, probably drinking a mint julep or something like that. And she's just sitting there, waiting. And as the ship comes to dock, there's a fairly <laughs> large greeting part. There's seven soldiers, Farouches there, as well as what seems to be... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Flower bears? There seems to be creatures that are holding plants and throwing seeds and they're just <laughs> decorated. I look I I, I Alexis looks at Nona and just gives a smile and a thumbs up. <laughs> the flower bears Is this larger than normal grading party? I would like to everything? imagine that they're actually bears. <laughs> Um, they are flower bears. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll an intelligence check. I'm just like Ewok and flower suit. Uh, uh, 25. 25. Okay. Oh. 25? And, and really? No. Yeah. Oh, do I add the modifier or? It's just your intel. It's a d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Plus 11. <laughs> you don't have an 11 plus intelligence. Okay. Zero. 18. How do you go from 11 to zero? To 18. So oh, 18 was the total. Your bluff check failed. 18 is the total. Oh, god dang. All right, so as you're walking off the little skiff, you see these small little quaky and monkey lizards tossing flowers everywhere. And I, one? I want to eat one. Why do you people the bear or the flower? I want one for can, can, I, can I just <laughs> paint a picture before you people try to ruin everything? I, love? I want one to tame one in the future. All right, he so can sit on his hat with his cat. Yeah, you have Palpatine on your hat. <laughs> so there's a bunch of quakey and monkey lizards tossing um, flowers everywhere, and as you look out, you see Farouche, and he's smiling at you, and he's happy, and he just kind of he points to the different things, and then. He, he points, and you see there's a large gazebo. Is it the same one as before? There it is. One. Okay. And along the gazebo, you notice there's a variety of orchids all around it. And with your roll, you see that they're akin to the seed that he handed you at first. And over everything else, you see it 
Yes. <laughs> King. Dot, 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 dot. Roll a perception check. Eight. Twenty-three. I hate that you people roll so high. <laughs> um, <laughs> you see amongst all these flowers and decorations and every, you see a small trip line. You see it surround the gazebo and you see it reach just back and around it. See and you see that um, no. Just a trip line? Tripwire. And you see just a beautiful area, and you see flowers, and you see happiness, <laughs> and you see just so much pretty. But underneath it all, you see a small wire that seems to be connected to something not so happy. Oh, it's a trap. Do you say that? It's a trap. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that was my perception. Wait, you that out loud? Did you say that out loud or over your... Don't you have a... Oh, I say... Uh, what do I say? I say, look at the... There's a I point out the tripwire. Where, wait, where is the tripwire? Behind the gazebo? It's around the gazebo. It's, the, the entrance is free of it, but it's all around. So if someone were to walk around the gazebo or come up to the left or the right, they'd trip the wire. Okay. So I'd like a perception check at um at Bruce's face to see if his heart kind of dropped a little bit when she said when she shouted that. What, do I have to shout it? Or when she says it? Yeah, but I'm the only one that can speak without being heard. Oh. You can still whisper Quietly, yeah. if you have an earpiece one. Can I, like, turn my head and say it or something? Or you, like, cough and do it? it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make yeah. It <laughs> yeah, or, like, just... Can I be like, oh, my gosh! And cover my mouth like I'm in shock? Yeah. But then, like, whisper it? Yeah, Trip make wire. a deception roll. Okay. I don't think I have good deception. And I rolled a nine. Hold on. Uh... Deception four. Uh, so that's thirteen. Yeah, you beat my twelve. All right, so I'm like, oh my god, like totally shocked, and then so I cover my mouth and do that. But he... All right, it says cores on my now. Maybe he's gonna going? Going? Okay, yeah. if she she told us, I'd like. Are you trying to ruin the guy? Surprise! I mean, it's probably like a flower petal explosion or something. <laughs> <sighs> or it could be our death. Who knows? It's a 50 50 shot. Yeah. Well, just let's be careful. Like you. you should just go and trip that and see what happens. Oh, no. Magnus rushes in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Run up and give him my orchid. Oh, I wanted to ask how to say hello. Uh, make an intelligence Thanks. check. I forgot. Uh, that's, uh, that's nine. Add your dex mod. Fourteen, because she has a five dex. Thank you. So, you've seen conversation, and you're kind of like getting used to the controls, <laughs> and you, you don't quite say hi, but you say, I'm here, <laughs> and he looks at you and just kind of nods. <laughs> All right, can I give him the orchid? Oh, yeah. Definitely. He Looks right. at it and he just. Can I tell? I explain. It's probably not. You're probably used to it. It's probably pretty common. But I just wanted to get used. I I understand. He's used. You have affected his view of things, 
but to the extent of he's focused on you. Um. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say. Can I do a uh, gather information roll to see if I can see any facial movements to give away his bearing on this? Sure. Any twitches of the leku? I don't hate that. Go ahead. <laughs> I hope that's I a good twenty nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Twenty nine. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> it's me. Well him. But then he's gonna tell me. All right. Twenty nine. Here's what happens. So as He's having that little bit of Liku conversation with Nana about, you know, the orchid and how much he likes it and what's going on. You see his lips move. And it's almost like he's mouthing what he wants to say. And what he wants to say is just slightly different than the sign. In example, he's signing to Nona, I love the orchid. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. But he's mouthing, I love the orchid. I've never seen anything quite this color. I'd like to see more. And there's just a slight difference between the sign and the subvocalization and you notice it i i calm i i throw <laughs> that's what i'm going with oh what wait what i sub vocalize <laughs> to nona Ignore the trap. Just trip it when the time comes. And then let the tweet go back to talking. What does that mean when the time comes? Well, when he leads you over to trip it. Just trip it. If he leads you over to trip it. If not, I mean, don't, don't just do it on being stupid like, hey, I'm going to poke this. <laughs> Right. Okay. Well, let's proceed with the plan. Okay. So you guys proceed in. Um, you're just kind of all together, yeah? You're yeah. not breaking apart or anything? I'd totally stay behind a little bit if he does lead her to the tripwire. I okay. mean, I'm not going to risk myself in that. but Yeah. So he leads all of you in, and he, he just walks over the tripwire. And as he walks over the tripwire, you see just fireworks. You see seeds, and you see plants, and oh, you Lord see blooms. And in the sky above you, you see spelled in, in fireworks. Uh, the flowers. Oh, God. And Zerush is just kind of leaning back, going... Just staring at it. Just extremely pleased with himself. Uh, oh, right. Looks for something flammable. Oh, there are so many flammable things. <laughs> I thought you had an adversity to fire. <laughs> All um, right. Uh, I guess at this point, I'm going to wink at the team and be like, hey, they had some business with Queen. But I'm going to pull some <laughs> aside and see what I can learn. <laughs> so they can still see us while they talk to Queen and raid the alcohol. Everyone good with that? Yeah. 
or no? No, I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with uh, Lixus and Ors and Tyrk first. So you guys are heading towards um, the main area with Queen, yeah? I suppose so. I kind of do the cowboy boot strut you saw earlier. <laughs> I'd like to do a little bit. <laughs> You should do like a runway walk just for Queen of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something like that. All right. So as you're walking up through the estate, I'm you, watching it again. <laughs> you manage you manage to find yourself <laughs> to the uh, uh, the front door of Queen's estate, and there's no there's nowhere there. You just I mean, you got used to Zerush letting you in, but you knock, you kind of kick at the door, and I can't. Too good. Uh, roll a strength check. Not great, but let's see. Yeah, definitely not great. Eight. 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 Uh, you, you know, you, you kick at the door, you pound at the door. Yeah, nothing. I, 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 I pull it because, you know, <laughs> listen on the door, just pull, please. <laughs> and the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> you pull it open and it opens and you see a large entryway and probably about mm, 15, 20 meters in. You see Queen just sitting in a chair. I activate my stealth belt. I put up my... Oh. How Sipping. close am I to the spot that I, I was told to go to? Uh, right now? Um, it's... How do I put this in terms you don't understand? Six turns um, of running? Five turns of running? I equip my leopard cuffs. Okay. If <laughs> also why? But I don't know. I just wanted you to. Are, if if you're at the Kingdom Hall on First Street, yes. You know, two blocks up the gas station. Yeah. yeah. That's about where the menagerie is versus where you are. Ooh, okay. that's close. Do that. We're at the. Oh, like. I gotta go pee, and I'm just gonna start walking that direction. Okay. I the vocalized to Tyrion. I'm like, I'm gonna need you to back me up on this because I'm gonna do something stupid, and it's totally gonna work. <laughs> and I just shake my head. Nick, are really you wide. ready for this TPK? <laughs> oh, I've been ready for this for like three. Weeks. I am so ready for this. Save what? the slave. So I, I have the stealth belt on. And I'm uh, assuming Queen's you're stealthing at Chris. in view of someone. I just want you to know that. Well, no, I, I imagine when I pulled the door open, I stayed on the other side of the door, and then I clicked it on. All right, I'm okay so with we, that. You see, you do that. You probably saw. Yeah, you saw me do that. Well, that we saw you do that, of, and we like are like, okay, cool. Well, that was part of the good. plan. Right? I mean, somebody was going to go stealth, so since we don't have yeah. Rayma here, I mean... That's fine. No, I, I have this all planned. Okay. 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 All right. That's all right, all. so here's what happens. Rayma goes stealth, Elixis and Tyrik, you're going to engage Queen, and we're going to jump to Nona. Oh, I'm ready for this. My body is ready. <laughs> <laughs> I sublog likes to Tyrik. All right, I need you to stand like menacing in the door. They just stare, trying to get him confused, just standing there. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my cat at him. <laughs> no, you may not do that. You may not do that. Uh, I am going still. to call PETA if you throw Palpatine at someone. <laughs> <laughs> Palpatine. All right, so I'm gonna do some small chit chat with him. Cheek. 
and after some small chit chat for like a minute, I'm going to be like, look, hey, listen, I heard gossip in town that, you know, Queen's got some, and I'm going to sum it up the saddest, most pathetic. Slaves. Is this it's all it needs. are you summoning some form of affectation that is true to you? Or are you trying to show a real emotion? Um a little bit of both. Roll deception with advantage. <laughs> You have advantage. That's two, two rolls. That's two rolls. God. Oh my god! Okay, 18 plus 4. Okay, so 22. <laughs> so as okay. you're... Wait, you want to hear what I I do. Oh, I so do. Alright, so I'm going to... Oh yeah, that I heard that Queen has... Slaves. Yeah, and then I was going to wait for his reaction. All right, so. But I had something ready. I was going to wait for his most immediate reaction. I. What? What do you mean? His reaction to. What was that? Twenty-two. Yeah. He kind of looks at you and says, "And not inside." He vocalizes, "The time has come." <laughs> like he talks. In basic. He can talk. He can talk. Everybody can hear this, right? Does he say uh, what that person does? No. Uh, he does not. He can hear. He just couldn't speak before. No, he can speak. He just, he just chose not to. not to. I just found a way. So he's that. not deaf. <laughs> not deaf. I heard for this. <laughs> so you give Look of shock. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. Yes, yes. Whoa. I'm like, you could talk. Why are you lying? It's a miracle. Call. It's a miracle. <laughs> no, actually, it's part of what I do. That's like that. He's that's like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Sith a Clarity in my mouth, like a cyanide pill. <laughs> Ready for anything. <laughs> Rumble ball. Wait, why are you pretending you're deaf? A loop is around my eye tooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we going first with this? <laughs> um, let's go with Chris first. What are you doing? Uh, I was just standing there menacingly. All right. Menacingly. Trying my your... best. All right. With a cat on my head. That sounds good. You got it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say. Um... I like standing there with my arms crossed and talking. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, oh, here, here's what we're going to do. Um, roll, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Uh, 17. That's good enough. So, you you pull out a, a, one of the Sith Boyardees, and Palpatine <laughs> kind of claws at it, but you hold it away, and you're like, I'll eat, I'll eat this. It'll happen, and you won't like it. And for now, it seems like he believes you. He doesn't even know what it is. Though I'm just holding a noodle. I thought they were with Queen, not with. 
No, uh, he he wanted to threaten um Varush. No, 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 no. Okay. Queen, Queen. Oh no. Um. Yeah. Weston. Weston's with Queen. Everyone else. No, is no, 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 no. Me, yeah. I, 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 me and Chris was with Queen, and Weston went around to the. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought went the, to the I, location. I was standing by the door when Clay. I, I thought I was standing. Yeah, by we the... opened the door. We saw Queen inside. Right? And I wandered with off Queen. to the That's south. Right. I'm sorry. And I started wow. walking this way. That's right. I'm sorry. I was I was thinking about um Varush and that reveal. All right. All yeah, right. We're, we're not we're not with Nona. That's Nona's right. You're, alone. you're not with Nona. Nona's alone. And I thought West was headed towards the uh So what is the uh what on earth is is the uh, chef board he's going stare, for? He's staring menacingly at Queen, and he's just gonna pull out the, yes. the noodle very intimidatingly because <laughs> he rolled good. Yeah, I was just I was just gonna have it prepped and ready, but I was making a joke out of it, and sure, I'll roll with it. But it, it was I could loop it around my tooth or something, and be like, ah, eh, ah. Eh. I'll do it. Don't make me. And he's looking at me and he's like, what? I'm sure. Because it's a noodle. But All right. Well, whatever. Queen's going to roll an intelligence check and not roll well at all. Sweet. She's going to roll a two. Sweet. And she's going to... There's one intimidating noodle. <laughs> she's going to turn to you and say, huh, I'm not in- intimidated by calories. <laughs> Okay. Can, can it be my turn now? Because I have like, I'm ready yeah. for this. Yeah, you're up. All right. So my stealth <laughs> belt is on. Mm-hmm. I press the button on my concealed sheath. All right. And poison it with the uh, the paralysis poison. Mm-hmm. And from stealth. Mm-hmm. I um just roll roll a stealth check for me so I know where where on your stealth you are. Okay. Never mind. I rolled a one. Okay. I, I, hate, I hate my life. I got an eighteen. Okay. Yes! <laughs> no. Apparently, I see nothing <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go ahead, please. I love we're rolling extremely right. high and you're getting ones. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it so much. But All right. Please, so don't. here's what I'm doing here. Yes. Yes. I take my blade, poison blade, yes. with that sheath that makes it unfeelable. And also, I just want to, I want you to know that's your action. Okay, that's my action. Uh, okay. Uh, no, that's not, all. Are we in initiative yet, though? We're not. So. I think activating the sheath is a bonus action. Mark that down. But I'm not going to penalize you for it. Okay. Do the things. Because I was hoping like this would be like, you know, I quickly do all this stuff before the initiative starts because the battle yeah. hasn't happened yet. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because right before I slash, mm -hmm. I'd like to hit my personal shield generator and take a swing. Not trying to. That's um, a lot of stuff to do in one turn. Okay. You realize that, right? I do, but it all had purpose. But he's amazing. He rolled a good roll. <laughs> Does it count that you rolled one? <laughs> did roll a one. Hey, I, I did. I I did roll a one. Back on one. Okay. What's up, everybody? So Rayma, right now, what's happening? I'm in stealth. I'm standing right in front of Queen. I just poisoned my blade, activated my my uh, shield generator, and I and slash it. Queen, as my shield generator drops, oh, I there are. And what I'm doing with the swing, I'm not trying to make a deep cut. I'm just trying to give a cut. Am I unconscious? Oh. You're no, no. You're, with you're you you are somewhere stealth. Yeah. In this room. Okay. Oh, oh, but even bigger. I'm with. Um, Varouche, and he's not deaf or sounds like Batman. Okay, oh, do I need to roll a uh, attack check to see if I grazed Actually, from a stealth position? Um, I'm gonna have everyone roll initiative. 
Did we find anything okay. slavery? Because oh! I, need... I quit failed. I was working on it, but Nat then you started talking to me. Mm. Hold on, everyone, wait. And so help me, if you guys Jew me on this, I will punish you all. So I'm not going to Jew anyone. Twenty-five to twenty. What's up? Initiative. Twenty-five to twenty. I got a twenty-nine. Oh. And it was a nat twenty plus my nine. No, that's perfect. Good job. Thirty-three. What? Thirty-three. What? Well, then, uh, 20 plus 13. Is that or? You're muted. Honey buns. <laughs> Does that count as I hate you guys. Honey How what? do you roll a 33, you s- God. <laughs> ah, you broken the guy. All right. Uh, 20 to 15. His mic is muted. Can you tell him that? Uh, your mic. Your mic is muted. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I rolled a 20, and I got a... Now I'm deaf. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, I need you to let me finish what I'm doing. I've had this all planned out since, like, the freaking beginning of how I wanted to play Elixis. You're killing me. I'm Larry. sorry. I'm sorry, but that's how it works. Ah! Um, I have Ors and Tyrion. 20 to 15. 19 for me. What are we just picking a number? No, it's your initiative. <laughs> okay, that was 29. Yeah, 29. Yeah, he got 29. 100! I've got you. I know, it sounded like you wanted to yeah. pick no, a number I, in between I, there. I, I, I don't. Okay. I mean, you could, but... 29. Th- I, I have 14. it. 15. Uh, 15 to 10. <laughs> so we've got 14. 13. Um. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, who am I missing? I'm missing Cor. Uh, he's not here. Uh, I'm going to say he's still unconscious. Oh, All right. So, yeah, you guys are you all inside Keen's fortress right now. Yeah. So, as far as where you are, Nona is away with. um. With Varush and she's talking, but I just wanted to know where everyone was in initiative. And let's see where Queen rolls. <laughs> One. Okay. No. Nat twenty. Four. Oh god. Nat twenty. Yep. And I just want you to know. You shouldn't know this as far as your characters go, but I with know. a nat 20, her initiative is 37. Oh! Her nat 20 is better than my nat 20? Okay. Yeah. How is that possible? Because she's higher level than you, Ugh. and she has trained. You are dealing with That's someone crazy. that is extremely sneaky. Oh. Sneaky. So anyway... So as you guys approach, um, Alexis, you go to stab Queen with your blade, and she's not there. It was a hologram. You don't see her. I'll allow you to roll a gather information check if you want. Can I gather as well? Yeah. You- Stealth. I, I'll actually give that to you with advantage. Twenty-five. Since you were stealth. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nineteen is my first roll. A natural twenty. Second roll. What the hell? You're lucky. Uh, You're lucky because she rolled an eighteen plus twelve, which is thirty. But a natural twenty. Well, well, actually, what's your natural? What's your twenty plus modifier? It's, I have a three in perception. Oh, well, no, no, no. Gather information. Oh, gather information. Mm-hmm. Gather information for me is uh, it's a seven. No, nope. um, so close. But, close. Wait, but she didn't crit, and the crit is like automatic success, isn't it? Wait, no wait, one. I'm gonna spend a force point. Just add a d6. Wait, 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 what 
was he gonna say? Wait, Sorry. wait. He was gonna say, wait a minute. Save your voice, boy. What were you gonna say? What were you gonna say there? Me? Nothing. We're gonna say, you know what? And I, I was gonna say that you fail. <laughs> okay. He wants to that use a force. These are automatic successes. <laughs> no, she she rolled an eighteen. But that Natural. wasn't a nat twenty. It wasn't. And Cal so Cheney got a nat. You can, but his nat twenty didn't <laughs> surpass her bonus. Can because I add a force point to my yeah? Oh, you totally can. Come on, Cal Cheney. It's a four thirty-one. Oh, she has a plus twelve at a thirty, so you beat her by one. <laughs> yes, Cal Cheney, I love you. So as you're looking around, you see just a slight shimmer behind Elixis. And as how are you attacking her? Me? Force grip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you better know it's force grip. <laughs> Get back to the face. And, All right. Uh, yeah, and it's a will save, right? It is a will save. What's your... Uh... Okay, I have to ask. Did you spend a uh, destiny point to succeed that crit one on the what? perception earlier on Queen Fart? I don't know. Did a destiny point go out of your pool? You have no idea. <laughs> um... You're cheating me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I literally wrote out what I was gonna do Aww. next. It's on, it's okay. on paper. There Aww. is my force power here. I just want to get an eye on force grip so that I can see. Mm-hmm. We need to write these out on cards, like wow. I really, really, really do. Okay. <laughs> That's what you, the face you made after you took a sip of your drink. Okay, um, force grip. Um, I rolled a. Exactly, <laughs> well, it's race. What? Hold so, on. Fifteen plus what? I have a twelve in use of force. Oh yeah, Queen is hit by that crap. So I got a twenty-seven. Yeah. Also, um, I hate you. Which means I got a, a 66. And um, let's see. What was is it? If target's fortitude takes... If it's greater than target's fortitude, uh, she can only make a swift action on her next turn. So if my damage, I think it's been... No, it's not your damage. It's your... Um, my UTF check? Yeah. Okay, so that's that's twenty seven, and I hold sixty. Yeah, um, twenty seven is greater than my fortitude. Okay, so that's five. Also, I hate you. Five, <laughs> four, fourteen, two, sixteen, two, eighteen. Last one, another two. Uh, twenty. Twenty. All right. All right. So you deal twenty damage to Queen and. She's limited to a swift action? Yep, on her next turn, she's limited to a swift action. Okay. Good to know. All right. Um, In the nick of time, huh? Yeah. You seriously are. Out there that I wanted to wait for you, by the way. Oh, thank you. All right, Oris, you're up. How far am I from getting to that location that I want to go stabby things at? Um. Uh, I'll be back. You're probably. You're probably pretty cr- close. You're within. You're within an action. Mm-hmm. I'd say you can get there. So what is there? Uh, right now, what you see in front of you, um, you see Queen held up in the air and around her you don't see much but outside maybe 
25, 30 feet, you see three droids and two guards. Shut the door. <laughs> Close the blast door. So, so Queen is in between that location. I'm sorry? So Queen is in between me and the location? Uh, Queen is just kind of sitting in an open area right now. Well, I, I say sitting, but she's held by the force in an open area right now. In between me and there, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know, I do a jumping stab. I assumed you would. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. You're ruining what I'm doing. Do it. Roll. This is not the way I expected this. <laughs> roll for it. Uh, oh, get ready for some Imperials to be up in this. Do you have a jetpack, Ors? I do have a jetpack, but I don't mm. think I need to use a jetpack for this. Mm. Uh, let's see. That's 8 plus 11. It would be 29. And as you do that, there is a localized burst of ionic energy around Queen as the GM uses a destiny point. <laughs> How many <laughs> destiny points do you have left? I have one left after oh, this. God. I choose used my destiny point to foil all all attacks on Queen during this round, as well as an ionic burst to disable all technology around her. Jetpacks, implants, etc. Oh, snap. All right. Well, I used my mental acuity after she. No. She oh. rolls. That's an implant. Oh, she rolls a it. natural 19. Do you have a fortitude that breaks 32? So since you have an implant, you kind of just like you lose all bonuses from implants no. for how long? You don't get like short circuited uh, and rest. a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> Nanotech doesn't do that. Uh, she uses a what she has on her is an ion belt and blade. Basically, it's a uh, EMP. And it. And Alexis goes dibs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis does do that. And it fries every implant around her. And I oh, would like. No! Um, I, who's, who's around her? We have Ors. She's right behind me. Alexis. I would like to think I've been walking up this time. Who's who else is in melee range? Or is Elixis? I'd like to think I'm there. All right, Terry. All of you. I, I yes. In the room, but I don't know how close I was when I did force grip because uh, I can be. Yeah, exactly. I I don't know if you. Were, I'll leave that up to you. Were you in melee range for force grip, or would you have done it? Back I would. Out? I figured I was gonna. Do, I figured, well, at least when I was picturing it, I was across. The okay, room, but I'll leave that because I did was here when yeah. I started this whole. Thing. Okay, kind of before thought. you got here, I told Tyrick to stay back for a minute while I was doing what I was doing. Okay. Did you? Then, did you? You did you I really? Did. You did. I totally did. I told stand there, look intimidating. Well, okay, okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Where were you? No. One is with. Fruit. Oh, that's right. Notice with Fruish. Yeah. We'll get to her in a Are moment. Still, um, yes. Uh, stealthed? Okay. No. 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 Okay. It fried that. I, I went oh, to do attack. Okay, yeah, right, okay. Vanish. All right. Um, he's calling me no jutsu. <laughs> I would like I perception me. checks from everyone in uh, melee range. <laughs> and I'm just going to throw that out there. You need to beat 30. So I'm not even going to roll, but I'm not a man anyway. <laughs> no. I not. 22? I not one. <laughs> I got 25, but I guess. I'm going to assume with my not one that that ion burst with that shield generator just made everything white around my vision for a second. Flash banged you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, we can take that as flavor. That's, but yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Um, you guys try to game 
gang up on Quing, do whatever it is you're going to do, and there's whiteness. There's silence, and you see your friends, your compatriots, but you all don't see Quing. Flashbanged? You just... You're not all flashbanged, but Dang Quing it, has been lost from sight. Double freaking perception checks, and it's a Stupidly powerful perception check. Oh, we don't see Queen anymore. Okay. She is. I just want you all to know, Queen is a level two noble, level eight smuggler. I was gonna whip out my handcuffs and hand them over. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I just started way out levels us. I'm just gonna throw <laughs> that it. out there. I had a chance with what I was gonna do. All I needed was one strike from my saber. It would have been so cool too. The Nick most, would use a destiny point against that. A most unfortunate, but like, I is, think I could have RP'd my way through capitulation from Queen. Queen is worth range. a destiny point as far as I'm concerned because I love her. If I used a destiny and point right now, I just want to could throw I this nick out her there. with my blade on um, her way out? I just want to throw. Actually, here's what happens. Because I'm willing to do that just for a hit. <laughs> As all of you are standing around motionless, Alexis. Yes. Roll a perception check. I got... Where's my perception? 23. You hear to the side of you. So sad. I was looking for more of a challenge. Blixus does. I slap. <laughs> and I'm going to give you an attack against her. <gasps> Do it. I slash. All right, roll to hit. Slash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's my hit? Where's my saber? The Jedi moment. Give it down. So you force use the destiny point. point. So now we start with the force arsenal. point. So right now, our inspiration is. I have I thought the whole point of using the destiny point was you actually can do that. No. Thank you for saying that word, West. I totally forgot I have an inspiration point in my I use an inspiration point because I only rolled a 13. All right. Re -roll that. This time I rolled a 23. Does that hit or I'm using a force point? I, I, I mean, are you going to use the force point Screw or it. not? I have force points. I'm going to use it because I want this. I don't know what this. What did I just say I was at? 23. Okay. I'm at 25 now. <laughs> you, you hear a taunting, mocking voice, and you s turn around and slice, and there's just a little bit of resistance. But you don't hear anything. I sheath my blade and say, you didn't feel that. I hit you. What you don't feel is the poison I have just injected in you with my blade. Now, you don't feel it because I made it this way. Because I need people to talk. I can't, you know, have who I capture screaming in agony. However, if you walk away from us, you will know agony and you will know death. And I just stare out with my wide, red, glowing, just eyes. That was so beautiful. <laughs> I have tears down my face, Clayton. Yeah. Rayma shudders in his fur, just like. Or <laughs> <laughs> shrimp. I use a second. <laughs> Are you serious? And Queen turns to you and says, 
That was good. Come see me when you want work. No! And disappears. So you, you, you used another Disney book. Is that, that's what happened. One. That's my last one. Does anyone else have Disney points? I mean, yeah. But he's probably just going to use it once I spend it to get her away again. I, I'm out. I can't spend any more. I'm assuming that the stealth cube went away when I hit, I connected. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you saw her. She bowed to you. She smiled. And then she disappeared. Roll credits. Can I, can I try to force... Can I, can I try to move mind tricker before... Uh, oh, you so can. No, you no inspired so fear? As she... Destiny pointed away anything oh, you did to her. Right. That, was the that was good though, right? You oh, ruined it. God, I I didn't I didn't want to have to ruin it because it was beautiful, but I just want you to know I love the fact that you did that. It was so good. It was beautiful. So Everybody enjoyed it. It was so everyone, good. I mean, everyone, everyone. Clap it. It was so good. But yeah. Destiny point. Mm. <laughs> Two. Two destiny Two points. Two destiny points. I was not expecting to do that. <laughs> that was great. I remember you telling me something about that, like, Clay, that you were going to kind of do that. I, yeah, that I've like been that. planning this for so freaking long. <laughs> yeah, you told me That's about it. That's the whole reason I have forgot. that Go Ram Saber, and I've tried to make it awesome. Yeah, and then <laughs> I completely forgot about it, and the, as you were doing it, I'm like, That's... This is this is it. This is happening. <laughs> to the pain. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most beautiful speech of the campaign yet. I have to say. What to the I mean, I I I want to give you inspiration, but it's just so much better than that. What? Okay, here. What? Better than inspiration. More charisma. <laughs> um, Out of game favors? No. <laughs> His darter? <laughs> he gains he a darter. All right. Here's no. No. The I am the <laughs> okay. Yep. Go ahead. If you can beat what I have to offer you, take it. Huh? No, no. Go no, ahead. I was going to say she dropped the ion belt as well, and I just double belt this like a pirate. No. That's not what well, happens here. All right. Here's what happens. You have that conversation with Quang, and you realize in the moment that you're not afraid of what she has. You, you're bigger than that. You're better than that. And as you come to that realization, I'm going to go ahead and say that you take a 1d4 bonus to every deception roll nice. from here on out. I am down with that. So plus 1d4 to deception. And is it like Weston's? Is it crit on anything above 20? No. Okay. You just add a 1d4 to any roll. And as all of this happens out, uh, uh, Queen, to your knowledge, has disappeared. Unless anyone wants to do anything. Uh, I used my dart that? to try shooting the tracker. I mean, can I percept to see if I can see her again? No. One at a time. Liz, what was that? Are they telling me everything that's going on? Um, right now you're still, you're still. Uh, let's room. just say I, I left that sub vocalize for that speech I did, just because I'm kind of proud of it. I so, nope. Oh, your comms are oh, still okay. fine. Okay, so, so the comms actually, hold on. EMP this is what we're gonna 
going to do. As you go off on Queen Elixis, that's when we flash over to Nona. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Nona, you hear a just okay. emblazoned speech from your Chiss compatriot, and oh, huh? then you hear silence. Varush doesn't seem to react, so you assume he doesn't hear what you hear, but there's definitely things going on. All right, so uh, what was the last thing I heard from him? Now is the time. Mm-hmm. Call her bow and be like, talk. Oh. Uh, uh, at him? Yeah. yeah, I'm torn, but I'm not going to, you know. He he turns to you and says, We're fighting the same. <laughs> We're fighting the same cause. No wonder he's mute. <laughs> <laughs> Join me. What cause is that? Join him. The Empire has no state on Ryloth. They do not belong here. Join me. Join us. I don't know if I want to trust him. Look at my pecs. <laughs> <laughs> do, do they go like Terry Crews and just start like, you know... But he's chubby. Spice. Yes. <laughs> just look at his pecs. <laughs> look at his chubby pecs. As he flexes for you, there's literally no change. Body. <laughs> but if you look at his face, he thinks there's a change. He's straining. And he's like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Nona. Why are you? I. Oh god. <laughs> Just do it. You know, you're already starting it. I'm not the, the one they need. You are the night. I'm the day. I am the plant. I am the one that goes without watering. They call me the hydrant. Hey. <laughs> Can I use my swift action to delete all my text messages? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of stares at you. And as you're asking all these questions, he he starts walking away. And he he revealed who he was, what he was doing, and with no response from you, he just, you just see his shoulders drop a little bit, and he starts walking away. So everyone hears this? Mm, if it's over the comm link, Is it it's over up the comm to you. Link? That's your call. Well, yeah, it's over the comm link. I'm recording okay. everything. Alexis is like, go with him. I want this information. <laughs> Join whatever. Dude's got it on for you. Gosh, I don't know if I should join the toilet or Alexis. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, it just says, do it. Kyle Cheney. Uh, Kyle Cheney. Boss roll man. a D4. Boss man. A D4? Mm-hmm. Oh. It's going rogue. <laughs> Don't pick it up. Just tell me what it is. It's two on the flow. Oh, it's so close. All right. Very good. What are you going to do? I can't see Keen anymore, can I? He uses... Uh, no, no. No one can point. see Keen right now. Nona's okay. torn. I'm going to ask for an outside opinion officially. Partner brain. We have to know what 
Zerush is just currently walking away from you. Just kill him! I don't want to kill him. Um... Should I should I time down? Should I follow him? What should I do? I've got, I explained ooh, I've what got I my saw bolo. when I got Bro. that awesome uh, gather information. You know what? Place. I'm gonna bolo him. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bolo him and call you guys to me. Actually, that's freaking awesome. I am so down I'm with this. Do. Yep. Yep. yep, I'm gonna bolo him. All right, roll the hit. <laughs> that's like better than anything. Eleven. Plus my attack, right? Mm hmm. It's a ranged weapon, 19. so it goes off of. Yeah. 19, really? 19. 11 plus 8. He has a reflex of 17. You hit. <laughs> Your bolo hits. Bolo hits! And he's, he just walks away, and in his mind, he's like, Yeah, I'm a badass. And he just walks away, and he's hala, 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 <laughs> and just falls forward, face planting into the ground. All right, and I tell everyone to get to the gazebo. Does he, the he already did. It was uh, no, flowers. He, he tripped it, and it was just beautiful. There was flowers, and there was roses, that's and there was just. And that's why I didn't kill him. Sunflower kill him. fields that they roll around on, much like the no. beetles. <laughs> Strawberry no. fields forever. Not the whole Anakin Padme thing? No. And the sunflowers? No, I, I believe that's an instant death spell. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, you died of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's <laughs> a thing. All right. That's my turn. That so, was a good turn. Everyone's coming. Um, just for fun. Um, I leave the room. Everyone, just roll a d10. Can't be a d20. No. It's a d8. Got a nine. Okay. A d. A, what? A what? Ten. Oh no! This is a d10. This is. I got a nine. Two nine seven. I got eight. eight. Six. Six. Is that all of you? No, yep. I need one more. We don't have four. Nope, that's four rolls is oh, that's right. Sorry. Well, no, zero would be good. No. Um. Nothing happened. I got a nine. Still nothing. You should be glad. If you rolled under five, maybe this star destroy would have bombarded your position. That's good. Yeah. Uh, been a good session for him. It's an amazing. amazing. Alexis, there's, there's there's nothing to loot. I or <laughs> is it my action yet? Where I start. Go There's got to be at least like a data pad or a droid go controller. To... Um, I haven't. Uh, we haven't rolled initiative, but I'm gonna go ahead and say if you want to take a turn, go ahead and. Take yeah, it. I'm gonna keep heading towards that location that I was kind of told to go to. That's what I yeah. was thinking. I'm ready to go with. I'm head with them. Yeah, you guys are definitely headed towards the menagerie, which is a little past. So yeah, you definitely run through. Okay. Where you see? If I'm not see... allowed to loot the room. Elixis, hold, hold okay. Sorry. your Sorry. horses. You definitely run through the room where you see uh, no with the Verouge. And yeah. So you see them kind of engage in some sort of social intercourse. And Tyrick, where are you at? Good question. I, I, that's why I asked it. <laughs> Um, I asked well, for assistance, just by the way. Yeah, I'm saying people are getting to you. But I'm just trying um, to figure out the timeline. I'll, hmm. well, I was standing near the whole queen thing. And mm -hmm. I didn't really do anything. Yeah, and then she... you're calling for help. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll maybe jet, jet boot that way. All right. 
So just make a pilot check for me, which you're now proficient <laughs> in. <laughs> because, you know, whatever. I'm broken. Yo. Um, that would be a 22. Oh, I'm so happy you hit that. So here's what happens. Uh, Varouche is like, this is not the time. And starts to kind of <laughs> leave. And then like run into him. And out of nowhere, you see <laughs> this head first, right? <laughs> Just head first. <laughs> giant hat come out of nowhere. And it's like, <laughs> and it hits a version. He's like, I thought it'd be so much cooler. <laughs> and it just falls to the ground. <laughs> and and was I like Terry Luigi? Just, you know how Luigi just like goes sideways? Oh, exactly. Like, completely flat bodied. Flat bodied all on top of him. And that's <laughs> and that's how Tyrick joins the setting. And I think right now Tyrick's feet are like legit on Zarusha's face. I turn it on. <laughs> oh my god. No! Is that what you do? No. Just just no, for no. Us. You know we can't get him to talk first at all. Hey, hey, hey. You stop right I, now. Is that what you do? No. no. I'm not talking, talking to you, woman. I don't think my character would do that, but I want to do that for fun. <laughs> <laughs> for fun. I, I guess not. Okay. Because I would so be down with that, but if that's what your character would do, that's what your character would do. You wouldn't. All right. Very good. And my wife just PM'd me. Oh, what? <laughs> no, that's no, on general message. No, that's general. <laughs> All right. Very good. Um, so, do, 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 do. Um, Rama, what are you doing? Um, you see where everything is? So we need to I, we need to regroup and then head for the menagerie. Or is hold on one second. Or excuse me, running. I guess we'll go with him, and then I run. I guess I'll run with Or. You know that's exactly what choice would do. It's not me. <laughs> All right. Um. So and Rayma would see it to like protect his force buddy. Turn, turn. Um, Alexis, go ahead and make your turn. If there's nothing in this room, I guess I'll follow everyone else and calm in. Uh, actually, you know, I'd head to Nona while calming Al Bob to ask how the skies look. Ooh. Not a cat. Casual conversation, like, hey, the clouds look pretty cool, Bow Bob. Like, is that angry death machine back yet? In the deeps. All right, are you, are you trying to communicate some way in code, or are you just looking? I'm using the, the uh, encrypted comm link. Okay. All right. Um. I'm sorry. Yeah. Everybody there? Yeah. 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 Everybody's lagging. Hello. 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 Uh, are you there? Okay, yeah. now you're clear. Okay. Now you're all nice clear. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Perception check. <clears throat> I don't know what happened. That was weird. Huh. Shack. Shack. I um, can hear you now. Shack. I can hear you now. Hello? Yep. Hello? Oh. That's better. Arrow. Okay. I Clayton. rolled yep. a roll. seventeen. Uh, why did you roll so? <laughs> All right, because so, I have a plus four. So as 
you roll deception, what's your ideal situation here? Um, I was hoping for Bob Bob to give me a check of, okay, what is the Star Destroyer doing? Don't scan it. Don't scan the Star Destroyer. But I mean, what does the skies look like? Is there like, you know, TIE fighters coming down? What does it look like? Also, what time is it? Because I'm pretty sure something was supposed to happen. All right. Soon. So you send your coded message and Babob intercepts and he goes, Hey, so the, well, there's things in the sky and they just, they keep coming. I mean, there's not the proliferate Dropped oh, my oh, pen. Oh. <laughs> There's not the proliferate starships and what's not, but there is activity. And I'd have to say that there is meaningful advancement on many fronts, but it seems like they're interested elsewhere. And the time? Ooh. Oh, uh, the time is 11.35. Make sure they don't blow up the booze. <laughs> uh, Baobab returns and says, Oh no, sir. I have that on keg and in innumerable stations. Nice. Yay. Is this over like a group chat conference? Yeah, yeah. Type? I'm going to say that's guild chat. Okay. Splendid. We have a guild chat. Okay, I'm assuming that's it for my turn, heading to Nona and doing the calm. On uh, calm turn, if you want to do like something quick in between, that's fine. If there's nothing bootable, I mm -hmm. tell Nona what what I saw with the uh, gather information roll I aced against the uh, Twi'lek. All right. So what is that you tell her? I, again, I'm vocalizing that. By the way, this dude, or I, I tell him exactly what he said when he was not signing what he was lip, lip, uh, mouthing, and they didn't match up. Because you caught that, right? Was... He, oh, he just didn't say. He reproached. He replaced like with love, and he just didn't say that in the sign language. So he's totally like, probably never gonna lie to you. Head over hoof. <laughs> Wait, what? I missed that. <laughs> he's head over hoof, is what Chris just <laughs> amazingly said. Okay. God dang. You're it, literally Chris. like our zone of truth for this guy. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just, I, I just want. As a woman right now. <laughs> I want to give all of you bonuses right now because that's right? so good. I mean, good. good. Like the guy oh. better than the girl. Everyone right levels now. up immediately except for Core. Oh <laughs> all right. You no, know what? This seriously, is that's impressive. This is how we're gonna do this. I want all of you to think about. No. Nope. Let me get my list. Hold on. <laughs> I have a thing for this. Sorry. I, just got... I use my implant's ability to change the way you don't it looks. Have implant it's tie-dye. Ability. You don't have an implant ability. It's tie-dye inside my head. <laughs> All right. Everyone, um, everyone roll a d20 that is assisted with that. That's, um, I'm sorry. It's just uh, Chris and Elixis. 16. I rolled it 18. All right. Um, Chris, you're now proficient in stealth. Oh, I'm so <laughs> jealous. Elixis, you're proficient in computer use. Oh. I have, do I, does that have skill focus? Um, yeah, you get an additional plus five. You have you no... Okay. In myself right do you now. you want me to choose something else on my own nope. volition? Because if I do that... I have a plus 19 to use computers. 
that's fine. That just means I'll make things harder for you. Oh, I hate you. It's okay. Wow. <laughs> that was just, I, it, it was too good for me not to reward you. It, it kind of was. <laughs> also, don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> all right. Oh. Um, all right. So we know where everyone is. What's going on? I feel like we should free some slaves. Yeah. Uh, um, how close am I to the point now? Wow. What point? To okay. the, the point that my holocron kind of pointed me to. Who just looped out? Uh, uh, um, no. Liz did. She's back. All right. Um, you're you're pretty close. You're on the other side of what looks to be some sort of not a chain link fence, but a divider of some sort. How thick does it look? Can I cut through it, or do I need to jump over it? Uh, make a gather information check. Alrighty. Not my strong suit. Are we taking turns on initiative? But I still critted it, so yep. <sighs> All right. <laughs> so as you look at it, you see it's 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 a thin thing. It doesn't look much, but as you look around, it's charged. So it's obviously a powered fence of some sort, but you definitely think you could jump over it pretty easily. Do I, with with the crit roll, do I notice if this, uh, there's anyone or any cameras around? No, nothing around. It just seems to be um, some sort of fence that surrounds a particular area. In that case, I use my saber to do like a cut and jump over it to, to cut it down. Um, what? <laughs> you know how is how is that gonna work? Are you gonna like somersault through the air Jet and cut through. cut through it? Like, explain that to me. Like, as how in, is this working? As in, at, like the halfway point where anyone but Ex Elixis can make a jump over what's left of it. Mm -hmm. Like. Do a lightsaber strike upwards mm -hmm. uh, and basically cutting the fence at that like all the imperials point. around good job <laughs> there there was no cameras or anything around all right all right i'll take that so you're just bisecting the fence and allowing your team through it yes because i could easily jump over it no fair enough no way in hell i could all right well let's make an attack roll this Plus eleven is twenty-three. Can I, meanwhile, be like peek on his face on the floor? Just be like, <laughs> pretty boy blue. I don't want to have to do this, but you gotta tell me exactly what's going on. I didn't realize he's in into with BFM. my team standing around. Okay, well, a couple of members of my team standing around. persuasion check with advantage. There's not intimidation, right? <laughs> am, I not missing, am I missing that? There's not, right? I, I, I lean over to Terry. He's like, well, I guess they're into BDSM. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there's not. All right. 21. Twenty-one. Okay. Of course you roll twenty-one. Why do all of you beat my rolls? <laughs> How am I supposed to tell a you story if all of you are creating like crazy? But yeah, we are totally killing you right now. Huh? You are. Okay. So we are DMing for the DM. <laughs> Christopher. Yes. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> do you? No. Not really. That was a bluff. Okay. <laughs> so as you put, 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 put 
your hoof on Zerusha's cheek. He looks at you incredulously. And that's when you decide that... He blushes. <laughs> but I have a smile on my face. He needs to know who's boss. So... <laughs> Your hoof just presses in a little harder. And the look in his eyes goes from acceptance to a little bit of fear. He doesn't know where his life is going. And he's willing to help you. He's willing to tell you what you want to know. Is everything? It seems like it. Okay. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? So I was asking about the rebels. I kind of want to know if my bisecting the fence check worked or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ask him about that. Any questions, anyone? No rebels? Um, what, what, what's, what's in the base? Like, as far as... Like, what's in the menagerie? What's in the box? What's in the menagerie, yeah. What's, what's in the box? <laughs> Who does know a two arc for? What's in the Try menagerie? Where can we save the slaves? That's what I ask. And don't tell me about the Star Trek episode. I've seen it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> Who is your daddy? <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> Where are the slaves? Jen? That. Why are slaves coming up? They're in the mines. They, I, I try. They data mining. So what's the what is the menagerie? You're awful. The mirage. <laughs> what? The, the queen. She, she has a spice mine. <laughs> I, I, I can't do much, but. I try. I, I calm to Nona, ask him if there's a reactor to this place. What's powering? Is this me? No, I'm still walking with orders. Oh, God. Towards the menagerie. Okay. What does he want to know? What did you ask? Ask, ask him if there's like a reactor or something. Don't tell him that I want to overload it, but I totally want to overload it to blow this place. Mm. Power station, something after we get the slaves out. Nuclear reactor? Yeah. So, wait, they're in the cave. Is that different than the menagerie? They're on their way there. Okay. It's below the menagerie. There are way to destroy everything. Where's the loot room? Where? No, no. <laughs> Where's the kitchen? No. Both of you, I hate you. <laughs> Ask them if they keep a plumber on hand because that bathroom is really messed up. Okay, I can't handle this that. anymore. I ask, who are you and who is your daddy? You tell me now or I will crush your skull. Who's your daddy? My daddy, he used to be a senator in Ryloth. <laughs> oh my god, please. Okay. I wonder if he knows you, you don't want to know about my, bad, my daddy. I, I've been trying to find some way to people out <laughs> I love what's this. been going on. There's there's so much exploitation and unfairness and injustice and there's just there's oh, I'm sorry. Twelex are 
thought the world over as slavers and major domes and they don't understand what we do here i i perform duties for uh, a duty. warlord and yes <laughs> duties is funny <laughs> But it's not funny what I have to do for her, if you understood. I, I, I try to help my people. I try to protect them. But the system here just doesn't work without some outside influence, without some... <sighs> Who do you work for? I work with... I work with the free... The freedom of Ryloth. Free Lyros movement. You're not here. You're what are you doing? All right. All right. I'm going to pick him up. Canonly, it's big... called the Free Ly Ryloth movement. Fat kiss square on the mouth. Just ki kiss your father square on the lips. <laughs> and then say, Horse help lips. us, help us free. free this. Awful place. I can't think of a better word. Roll a persuasion check with you. Do it with that face. Posted <laughs> with the horse. Woo! Face. Best roll of the day. Nineteen plus. <laughs> Destroying uh, its game. Twenty-three. This is a long game, FYI. And it's amazing. He kind of looks at you and goes. Two hours. And goes. I'm ready. My body is ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and as he says that, you see... Actually... <laughs> make a perception check. Who? You. Anyone else around her? Okay, well that, that was... Yeah. I thought I'm we were so pretty serious. much all are. Yeah, roll no. perception. Rayma yeah. and Rose are not. Mm. I got uh, an eight. <laughs> I failed. All I have is my plus modifier. I got it. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. Did anyone break twenty? Yes. yes. Nice. I got a twenty-two. All right. So most of you don't see anything, but as he acquiesces to follow along with you. Tyrick, you see just the slightest shimmer on his character. And as he walks, you see he isn't fat. You see he's tall. He's just shredded beyond belief. He's the kingpin. He is it's like one just, of those bodybuilders that's like oh, shredded but has a gut. It, it, he, if you could see Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1989, Mr. Olympia, that is what this guy looks like. I was at. picturing Izumi's husband. That's fair enough. That's about <laughs> it. Just. He well, is. Let's just want this looking device. He is ready. And you see just. And just you. Just you, Tyrick, you see a small glint on his finger that seems to have been the source of that <laughs> with that roll. Oh, good lord. Yep. Okay. Um, that's it, Tyrick. That is exactly what he looks like right there. <laughs> but he has a mullet. There's definitely <laughs> a Liku mullet there. <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, of course I'm um so we I'm the only one that saw that he shredded. Yep. Everyone else just sees a fat 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 fat. So is it so some type of accident. hologram or like just different clothing um, or like a fat well, suit or well, an intelligence check. See if you know what it is. <laughs> Mm. Uh, 
kid. Eight. Eight. Um, I wish I had makeup. A... It's totally makeup. It's makeup. <laughs> With an intelligence check of eight, yeah, it's makeup. <laughs> it hurts me. I want to steal that so bad. <laughs> Alexis didn't know how much he wanted one of these things. I guess he still doesn't. Because how scary would that be if I added that to my deception combo? It's almost like someone that's making the story is putting items in for people. Weird. Hmm. Is Tyrick going to share this information? I don't know. Ah, dang it. I meant to drag Tyrk into the uh, Whisper channel to tell him that. I wanted to start doing that this game. Oh, okay. That would be smart. Wouldn't it? That would be totally smart. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> hmm. Are you still not going to say anything to the Tyrk? Oh. Oh. With the metagaming going on? <laughs> I, I just want all of you to know that at some point, all of your metagaming is just gonna bite you in the. And I'm ready for. It. I'm ready to accept that. I'd like to. So he's walking off, right? Yeah. I'd like to like go up to him and be like, I, I see what's going on here, and. Be like, can you get me one of those? One <laughs> <laughs> of those mullets. Roll a <laughs> not, not a mullet. <laughs> Fat <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> but like, the prosthetic makeup stuff. What? Okay, what? Roll, uh, perception? roll, roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. Um, I'm assuming you'd be a little more specific when you said that, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just assuming you're taking that as I want to have what you do. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that's very vague. Do you mean did, did you say like you know, something descriptive like Explain how you look to me not? how you want to jump him? Who? It's sure. It's a, it's a joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm just going to assume. What, I get that, what Chris is asking. Okay. Make a persuasion. Bro. 19 plus 1. Uh, oh, God dang it. <laughs> I am on fire with the rules. I don't know All what. right. So, Zarush is kind of like walking away and he turns around and he kind of smirks at Nona and he's like, yeah. So, <laughs> and as he's walking away, you're like, "I want to do what you do. I want to. I want to be in there." And at first, he's he's not okay with that, <laughs> but you convince him, and <laughs> he pulls the ring off his finger and says. Here, take this. <laughs> God dang it, I should have jumped sooner. What? <gasps> oh. This is what I use. I want a pretty <laughs> ring. Make me a pretty ring. Okay, I'm pulling in the fact that I totally have Tyrick bugged. And I oh walk up. I'm like, hey, here's your... I have a data pad that's yours. Do you want it back? Because I'll totally trade you for that. Remember, I've and I yeah, the ring before he comes over because I totally do have a Tyrick bug, and I thank him. <laughs> I, I kind of give him like the bro fist. Yep, you, you guys, you fist bump, and he he looks at he looks at Alexis and he's like, "There's no honor in what you do," and walks away. Well, I just say yeah. I didn't take it. It was given to me, and it's yours. I already took anything good off of it anyway. <laughs> 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 but 
but I still offer it back. All right, guys, I got to go to bed. It's like 11, 16. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, so... Thank you for the extra time, Kyle. Yeah, catch any. I equip the ring and grow a foot um, each one. <laughs> just so you know, the ring, it's going to give you plus 10 on stealth rolls. Yes. After just getting stealth off. Are you kidding me? Nope. Plus 10 on stealth as long as you have something. It's. It's less of a stealth roll and more of a deception roll as far as you're creating a persona. <sighs> okay. Ugh. So it, it it enables you to create, you know, I'm Bob Vance, Vance for refrigeration, <laughs> and this is who I am, and this is what I do. Like, it allows you to create someone. <clears throat> it's I'm not Batman. like, hi, I'm Invisible Tyric, and I do Invisible Tyric things. Right. Unless you wanted to convince them that he was invisible. Right? I don't know how that works, but While if you find about... some way that that works, then yes. So it's like a charisma ring. that I Yeah, it, it, it enables you to take on the persona of something <laughs> that you design or something that you replicate. It, let's, let's go ahead and call it a ring of impersonation. Mm, that's a good description. Also, I want all, all of you to know that as we leave this game, Queen is no longer on Ryloth. Yay! Good riddance. And she didn't take us with her. Get her. Maybe we can find her vault of monies. Maybe we can find the vault. Yeah. Be some vault hunters. <laughs> Again, she's no longer on Ryloth, and she burnt as. Again, she, me, burnt two destiny points to make sure she didn't get caught. So she's no longer there, and you guys are on Ryloth. Well, we could bring her players with the essence. That. I got dirty looks. Okay, but that was just her room. That room. All right. Um, well, we're going to raid the place. I just want to... While all of us are here, I don't have much more I want to do on Ryloth. There's... Probably maybe a week or two worth of content of things I put together, but I honestly doubt any of you will find it. So, rude. Um, it's not rude. It's I played with you people for five months, and I know <laughs> what you do. We're gonna RP for an hour and then go shopping for the other hour. Yeah, exactly. So my question is. Do we want to... Uh, I have a narrative way to end Ryloth here. Do you want to move on, or do you want to explore more? I mean, I'm sort of fine moving on. As long as it's okay for Ori, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Yeah, he's about to rush into a battle he probably couldn't take on his own. I'm okay with moving on. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, everyone here in present, ex except for Andrew. Andrew Hi. Yeah. Yep. Yes. All right. So here's what happens. Open. You you find your way, and this is as an epilogue, you find your way around Queen's Estate. You look at different things. You see that there are <laughs> slaves. You see that there are creatures that are mining. You see that she has 
an entire ring of creatures that shouldn't be there. And you realize that some of the things that you fought are, are just misplaced creatures. Maybe they were once here. Maybe they escaped. You don't know. But this whole planet seems to have been some form of experiment. Some form of culture. And as you look forward, you see more creatures. You see, and this was written in for Andrew, so we'll have to let him know what happens. But you see winged creatures. You see small bird-like creatures, and they are looking around. And they're the foosh. They're looking forward, but not at all. And then as you go forward more, (laughs) exactly, you see Bailey's, and you see... (laughs) (laughs) You don't see that, but... I just put that That's there. That's as close People. as you can get to Bailey. It, that's exactly it, it, it poured out of a boot. You just can't get closer than that. <laughs> also, I hate everyone that knows that because I just can't stand that. Um, anyway, I really can't stand it either. Just... <laughs> I just hate it so I, much. I hate it. I do. I hate it so much. Anyway, I'm sorry. But yes, you see Fushin Captivity, you see Trendutions, you see Wookiees, you just see a menagerie of characters and creatures that are serving her purposes. But those of you with force powers don't sense ill intent. You just sense greed. You sense the desire for money. And You sense danger. You sense that you shouldn't be here. So you you leave. After you go on. After letting the Wookiees free. There's no Wookiees actually. Those things in the large cages. You see that they. That's (laughs) not a thing. (laughs) They were just dirty, so they looked like Wookiees. Yeah, fair enough. They're just dirty, not Wookiees. Wait, we like wouldn't. Wait, we wouldn't just let everything dirty, free them. Wookie. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, the Force free. users, the Force users, sense these creatures. If you desire to chase this and to free them, that's another thing. Meh. I'm, I'm confused. Or is not forced slavery? But if there's no Wookiees here, then this is just another dead end. I mean, if there's no actual slavery going on, nobody's like you, being worked on the bone. You sense that the menagerie is a collection of unique creatures. Whereas Do it's I sense not. Any sentience? Th- there's definitely sentience. But as the same way that a koala is in a zoo, these creatures are in Queen's menagerie. Okay. It I'll may not be their natural the menagerie. Doors open if everybody wants to get out. Yeah, it may not be their natural habitat, but she's not abusing them. Can she's just... to the ship. Can I ride one of those winged creatures again? Ah. Uh... She's enjoying creatures in her own habitat. Okay, but she's gone. She's not coming back. I mean, wouldn't it be cruel to leave them in the cages at this point? She's undetectable by you. You don't know if she's gone. Now, if you want to try to free the creatures, I will definitely let you roll for that. Well, I don't want to draw well, things out. It'd be at like the end like of Super Metroid. Whole... 
I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna going draw on. anything out over the night because I know it's late. But just let me know. We already Across knew that sort of the narrative, if you want to do anything, let me know and we'll play it out. Okay, I'm. I'm. As Rayma is fine. He thought there was actual, like, actual slavery, you know, old South style going on. But we already knew coming into this that she liked to collect like zoo animals, and if they're like in cool chill state famous fine with that yeah like she's taking care of these things they're they're because the boss out, is man. Here. it doesn't mean all the workers aren't still here like she have is eye on blast well she's here take... but if she has a spice mine i don't think that's on ryloth she does you like you realize mine. you were able to gather throughout your dealings that she has a spice mine that she takes care of but what you're primarily focused on is her manage her menagerie, and from that, you're able to see that she takes care of these creatures. She likes the exotic and she likes all of that. I mean, they're not where they're supposed to be, but she, she gives them a good home. Cool. I'm good. As long as they're I'm happy, my team. Morris doesn't care. <laughs> Even if they weren't happy, he would, he would be mad. Yeah. <laughs> Alexis wouldn't do anything, but I mean, if we were saving all the animals, he would look for something venomous. Of and course she would. Cage. <laughs> you know how and, I am. And as you think that, you see these ginormous cobras. Not cobras, but snake-ish looking things. I don't have the Star Wars word loaded up for me, but there is a large snake like creature that's venomous and it just kind of squirms around happily nice. looks at you and flicks its tongue out and, <laughs> and goes back around where is her spice mine I'll turn and ask Twileek are you asking Zarush yes um you turn around, you look at Zarush, and he turns to you and says, It's it's under her her boat. She keeps the menagerie away from everything. The spice mind is what she she leverages that with the huts. That's what it Enables her to study and keep these different animals. That's why we had to uh, deliver the spice. Because if she already had the spice, why would we be delivering it from Jobo? Well, as you say that, as you say that, he turns to you and says, "Well, the we gather the." raw spice, and then it's processed into a more sellable. And how do you add it to the booze? He turns to you and says, <laughs> give me a drink. Uh, I hand him my flask. As you hand him your flask, he kind of looks at it and you see him pull out what looks to be a sugar packet. I mean, you've seen Equal, you've seen Sweet and low. Splenda, you've seen all of those things, but it's kind of like a it's a silver looking packet, and he pulls it out and tears the top off and pours it in, closes your flask and shakes it up and hands it back to you and says, try that. That's so cool. Huh. <laughs> anyway, I know Kyle Cheney has to go to bed. So, um, you guys solidify all of that up. You're able to see what's going on. And I th think as we leave Roth, everyone just 
Roll a d6. Do we have tears streaming down our faces? For the memories? But d6. d6 will not roll me a one again, because that's what I want. Three. I got a three. Mm -hmm. One. I also got a three. Kachani is muted. Mm -hmm. That's all, everyone. We don't have an Andrew. Ah, oh, God dang it. I keep <laughs> thinking of it. <laughs> I'll all right. remind you every time. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you, Clayton. All right. So, as you guys end up everything, you think about your time on Ranoth, you think about the things you've experienced, and you remember the conversations that you've had over the course of the last month. You remember hearing things about the overarching future of Force users. You're hearing things about those who are oppressed and those that fight against the Empire, and more often those that walk the edge of the force. Those that maybe they don't serve the light, but they don't serve the dark. Those that look for balance. And you see in that a Jedi Master. You see those who have looked and have affected the future. And you see a name. You see a, a Kafar, a man. And he, he looks to be surrounded by large trees, to be surrounded by Wookiees, to be surrounded by those who would hurt them. And you see him fighting them off. And you see him running away. But in a what's the word I'm looking for? Triumphant manner. And you see a small hut on Ryloth, which this Kefar retires to. And as you leave Ryloth on your ship, you don't know where you're going, but you know that this galaxy has many questions, and you're looking forward to find them. And that's where we'll leave it. Yay! I'm very confused. Yay! I'm ready for bed. Level up, time. Roll credits. Lunar interlude. So, um, <laughs> lunar interlude, everyone, take two levels. Yeah. And we're going to throw in there. Do I get a gotcha punch token? Um, no, because no. Oh. Um, <laughs> we're going to throw in there this round, since this is the first long-form game we've played, if there's anything you want to redo, yeah, skill, feat, whatever, let me know, and we'll work it in. I use Farsing to see if I can sense yeah. a family member. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright. Roll a d20, Weston. <laughs> Let's use the force, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so is Rayma Cam, which means <laughs> he's still listening? Uh, I only rolled 16. 16? Uh, I yeah. love animating it. You sense something, and, and that's about it. You feel there's a presence, and it's familiar. And you feel a general direction, but that's about it. And the direction that you feel is core wards. 
can I spend the additional force point to get a, an idea of what they're seeing? Yeah. Go right ahead. So you spend the force point, and as and you do your vision, created. that's perfect. So as you spend that force point to clarify your vision, you see a, a large field. You see crops, and you see a blue sky, all of that. And past beyond the crops, you see just an open expanse filled with water. And that's about it. You just see a large verdant area filled with crops and plants and all sorts of things. And beyond that, maybe off the plateau, you see a large expanse of water. 